Yeah. All of them. Good morning and welcome to the Friday Night Pro League Playoffs in Holbrook, Massachusetts, Union Street Lanes. Paul Grant, great to be with you. Eight teams make the playoffs today. We have Riverwalk, number three seed against number six seed, Sunnyside 2. Mark Ritchie, yes, sir. after your team. Teams been some hot spells and cold spells of late. Yep. Which one working your team? What have you guys been working on of late? Well, the team did very well throughout the season. We were in first place most of the year, but we had kind of a tough finish. But we're looking to kind of turn things around here today. It's the playoffs. Everything resets to zero, and we just have a bunch of three-string matches. So we're looking to get it done today. You've been a mentor to a lot of bowlers. What do you try to help? How do you try to encourage them when they're struggling or stay mentally tough? How do you help them? It's just very important to remember that even if the last box wasn't a good one, the next box can fix it. So don't carry the anger through to the la from the last box to the next one, and just try to be fresh on the next box that you throw. Now you're also a, a referee for wrestling. Yes. Can you give a demonstration yes. to Frank? Oh, uh, I need somebody he, far bigger than he, me to he, take him down. You so do I take, could, he do a takedown? I can't take him down, <laughs> no. <laughs> he would throw me out the front door. I could count the one, two, three, you could take but I'm Nick not taking Nick Norcross down, right? I could definitely take right, Nick Norcross down. You want to take him down real quick? Not, not up here. No, no demonstration? Maybe it depends on how well he bowls. <laughs> Good luck today. Uh, thank you, sir. Frank DeLuca, your team started off 4-28 and this year. You were dead and buried, basically. 11-12 plates all year. The last three months have been turning it on. One of the hottest teams right now in the league. Ended up being six now in the playoffs. Yeah, uh, quite the rally we made, and uh, we worked really hard for it. We're so happy to be here today. This is what we all bowl for. Um, try to just keep it keep it rolling now and, and see how far we can get. We're going to have some fun. It's going to be an intense match, a good match. Uh, that's, that's really all there is to it. And it's five, three strings, total pinfall, no points today. Now it's a tie at the end. So two string, two box roll off each bowler. If I understand it right. I, I believe so, but I'll hold it. It's a whole, whole we'll, we'll verify. It's a whole string roll off a tie. It happened, uh, one whole string. One whole string if there's a tie at the end. Okay, so we'll get underway yeah. now. Presentation, Spread Eagle Productions. Go, go, go. The Friday Night Pro League playoffs are underway here from Holbrook, Mass. Yeah. Hold on. Hit him hard, gentlemen. Right. These are the standings from this regular season. Just ended Friday night in a position match. A lot of action that night. Seven points separated five teams. Central three hung on against Sunnyside two. Moved up to number six from seven. Riverwalk dropped to three from two. It's three versus six. One versus eight. Two versus seven. Four versus five. We'll have all three rounds today. We're about to get away. Captain Mark Rich on the left for Riverwalk Lanes out of Amesbury, Mass. And Frank DeLuca on lane 12 for Sunnyside 2. We'll put the scores on the screen every two boxes. Frank DeLuca from Stoner, Mass leads off the match. And gets the half whistle left. My least favorite shot. Mark Ritchie, head pin, eight, maybe nine. Holds up. Has the three and the six. Piece of wood behind. Mark from last down New Hampshire, which is from Somerville, Mass. Toluca leads up the five and the nine to the right, seven left in corner. Richie for a spare. Got it. Ten of the ball to start the match. First of three strings. Friday night Pro League playoffs are underway. Toluca, eight to start the match for him. Frank's a 114 league bowler, high single of 197, high triple of 422, has a high five of 681. Second box for a string. The left hander, Frank DeLuca, in the pocket. Tough 2-2 two, two split, 3-6 in the right, 4-7 to the left, a good piece of wood. Richie on the bonus, gets the pack of 5. 15 after 1 in the first of 3. Opening round, some call it the quarterfinals. Toluca try to kick it over, in the hole. Pack of 5, it's about 31% for four holes on wood. All stats provided by Spread Eagle Productions. Marcus had one heck of a career. Toluca, tough seven, 15 through two here in the first. Richie at nine, 24 through two. Riverwalk up by nine, total pinfall. No, it's two points for win, one for tie, two for total. 
Straight back, straight up. That's River Walk. And Sunnyside, too. Nine pin lead early on. Here's Aaron Sainz here, the 24 year old, our sensation from Haverhill, Mass. There's a great ups upside in his career. That's a monster strength this year. On the head pin, but has a 2 1 split. Has the 6 pin to the right, the 2 4 to the left. One piece of wood. Josh Rio on lane 11. In the pocket, looks good. He gets 9. 10 pin left up. Josh Rio from Bowl, Mass. St. Sayre. Oh, he cut it. What a shot this there. Ten of the ball to start the match for him. Rio missed it. So close. Ooh. Close hurt. Single pinch that would for Pro Bowlers go about 72% of the time based on spread eagle production stats. Josh and nine to start his match. Aaron St. Cyr on the right, working on a spare. <laughs> on the bonus, head pin hit. It's five. Three, six, ten on the right, four, seven on the left with a piece of wood. Rio, four from the right, the one, three, six, and ten. Aaron St. Cyr, 15 up to one. <laughs> Good effort. Got the left side, right side to go. Left side, left up. The four and the seven. Rio, off to the left. Without wood, four horsemen's go about 36 percent for pro bowlers without wood. Saint Cyr, nine. Twenty. Four through two here in the first of three strings. Opening round, Friday night, Friday night pro league playoffs. Rio at ten, Josh nineteen through two. Forty-three to thirty-nine. Riverwalk up by four in the string. That's a team, all of them. Third ball is out of five. Nick Norcross on the right. The sunny side two. Half was to left. Punch out the two in the eight. Here's Mike McGinty for Riverwalk, Riverwalk Lanes on lane 11. On the head pin. Has just a ten, just a ten pin. Piece of wood to help. Norcross, good effort. Four to the left, five to the right. McGinty for the spare. Yes. Ten of the ball to start the first for him. Second spare from Riverwalk. Oh, what a shot. Is it going for us for a ten? You guys give me obstructive view. I can't see it. I'll get out of the way. It should have been called a wow, but we'll say that for Take a shot. Norcross has the Calary. Eight pin in the back. He goes to head pin now. McKenzie on the spare. Eight has the six on the right, the four to the left. Two pieces of wood. Eighteen after one. Nick, two pieces of wood, see if you can use that to convert for a spare. Won't go. Six and ten left up. McGinty looking for two in a row. Can he kick it over? Oh, what a shot! For a spare! 28 plus two. What a shot by McGinty. McGinty Magic early on. Ten for Nick Norcross, 20 through two. 71-59, 12 pin lead for the number three seed, Riverwalk from Amesbury, Mass. Over Sunnyside, too, the number six seed. Plus to run a bonus ball. Josh Daly on the right, 22 year old sensation on lane 12. Jeff Walsh on the left. Josh out of Danvers, Mass. 
Nice ball. That's the kingpin, the five pin left up. Two pieces of wood. Jeff Walsh, head pin. Has the three to the right, the five to the left, one piece of wood. Daily a spare to start. Ten of the ball through one here in the first of three. Opening round of the Friday night Pro League playoffs. Walsh with a spare. Jeff 39 will be 39 November 14th. From Rutland, Mass. Originally Somerville, Mass. Both working in spares. Jeff's high single 194. High triple 445. High five of 707. High 10 of 1293. And a high 20 of 2394. Daily, too accurate, just three. Tough break. 13 after one. Walsh on the bonus. Off to the left, he gets four. One and more. 14 after one. Jeff's home lanes, Riverwalk Lanes, New Spring Mass, and Academy Lanes, Haverhill Mass. Daly just chopped out one. Six left up. Walsh, gonna kick it over. Good try. Leaves up the four and the seven. Heck of a bid. Nice out for Josh Daly and eight. 21 through two. Jeff gets a nine. 23 through two. Unofficial, it's 94 to 80. A 14 pin lead for the number three seed, Riverwalk, out of Amesbury, Mass. Great place to bowl. Old classic vintage bowling like 1946. Home by Mark Ritchie. Doing a great job there. Now the anchor ball is here. Charlie Collins, the strike machine. I call him the Terminator. Just decimates those pins when he's on the head pin. Pocket. A lot of strikes. Not a tear of late. He's out of Waltham, Mass. Brian Fuller Jr. out of Newburyport, Mass. Brian with an average of 124. Charlie Collins, 116. Rising. Off to the left, gets a break. Has the 1, 3, and the 7. Brian Fuller Jr. gets four on the right. Brian and John Winchell combined to win the last five men's money match for $2,500. You must see that on Spread Eagle Productions. Great comeback on 102 pins. Yeah. To win that match, money match five. Six. Oh, Collins, a nice shot for a spare to start. Four, good try. Five pin left up. Charlie started Friday night's last match. His full gets a 10. Had a 6 and 8 to start the first two boxes Friday night and got a 149 first string after that. Not how you start, how you finish. Charlie Collins on a spare. Head hit. Gets the right side to go. Gets a break. Has the 2 4 on the left. 18 after 1. Here in the first of three. The opening round of the Friday night Pro League playoffs. From Holbrook, Mass. Union Street Lanes. Brian Fuller Jr. That's the 1. The 2. And the 8. Behind the 2. Man. Collins for 2 in a row. Yes. 28 in the ball through 2. Fuller Jr. on the spare. 20 in the ball through 2. Great match so far. 114 to 108. Unofficially, Riverwalk has a six pin lead for the first two boxes here in the first string. The scores. I love my the switch sides now. Mark Ritchie on the right. Had a spare five and nine to start. 24 through two. Frank DeLuca, tough start. Eight and a seven. 15 through two. He's on in the red shirt on lane 11 for sunny side two. Mark's currently a 115 lead bowler. On the head 10. 
Gets a break. It's nine, maybe ten. Nine pin holds up. Fletcher avoid to help. <laughs> Toluca locks the right, just three. He's been going great of late. For a 153 in the ACST regular season finale, Sunnyside Lane's Danvers Mass. Sunnyside Bowl Drum, Danvers Mass. Richie with a second spin, three boxes. 34 on a ball through three here on the first of three. Winners go to the semifinals. Toluca, nice bid. Four to the left, ten to the right. Mark's high single 207 did that in, in the main tournament. Is it 200? And a 202 in his career. To Luca and 9, 24 through 2. Through 3, 24 through 3. Mark did those, the 202 and 200 in the Friday Night Pro League. High triple is 519, also done in the Pro League. It's a 510 and a 501 also. It's a high five of 765. On the bonus, off to the right at four, and left the one, two, four, and seven. 40 through three. Toluca just missed that pin. Rolling back, let go! Nine. Two pin left up. Almost stole it. Richie. Oh, back door! The early Christmas gift. Second spin in a row. He's got three in the first. 15 a ball through four. Just how he drew it up. Toluca got to careful that front wood. And he got it. Gets his first mark. 34 and a ball through four. Here in the first of three. I graduated the pedal. Yeah, don't worry about that. Right, exactly. Unofficial, it's 140 to 127. Riverwalk up by 13 here in the first of three. Friday night, Pro League playoffs, first round. Winning team is $2,500 to split today. Runner ups are $2,000. Josh Rio, 19 through 2, open here. Aaron St. Cyr, 15 in the first box, 9 in the second, 24 through 2. Oh, good try by Rio, wouldn't go. Whip in left up, heck of a try. St. Cyr, Mark, yes! Second spare of the strength, 34 in a ball. Through three, in the first of three. 10 for Josh Rio. 29 through 3. <laughs> 13 pin lead early on for Riverwalk Lanes on the Amesbury Mass. They run a great tournament in the fall season, beginning of April or May. It's called King of the River every Sunday morning, 9 30. It can be a brand new ball off the street. You have a chance to win. It's handicapped, so you have a chance to win. Plus the high-low jackpot, the 1710. You get 75% of the jackpot if you hit it. Josh Rio. Six. That's the one, four, seven, nine, and ten. Wood coming out of play. If it's past that ten foot line, we'll have to be clear. It's off to the right now. Aaron is a tough lead there. Half was to left, the two, the eight, the right is the five, left seven. Josh is open. Aaron six in the spare, Phil. 20 through three. Josh trying to grab a couple here, maybe three. And does get three. Nine. 38 through four. Solid pinning, no marks. St. Cyr in eight. 48 through four. <laughs> Unofficial, it's 159, 151. The lead is down to eight. Riverwalk in the lead. Yeah. Opening round playoffs, Friday Night Pro League. Here in Holbrook, Mass, and Union Street Lanes. Mike McGinty, two spares to start, 28 in the ball. 
It's seven. What's our strike? 30 plus two through three. Mike McGinty, 35 through two. The three in a row. Just missed it to the right. That's the one and the two. Five to lead now for Riverwalk. Three marks to two advantage for Sunnyside two. A virtual tie. McGinty a 10. 45 through three. Hey, Ganty, nice ball. One seven leads. No cross, not a double. It's eight. That's the six and the nine. Ganty, another one. Third spare of the string. 55 and a ball through four. No cross, spare on strike. Forty through three, fifty and a ball through four. Jeff Walsh and I have a spare four to nine, 23 through two. Josh Dilley has a spare three and eight, 21 through two. Walsh has the check mark. Five pin lead unofficially for Riverwalk. Dilley, nice ball. Tough three two split. Three six ten on the right, four seven on the left. Jeff Walsh, five to the left, three six ten to the right. Piece of wood in back. For a spare, just missed it to the left. Daily. Oh, what a try! Have our camera fixed. Sorry for the uh, the camera's off the, the left more. Nine for Jeff Walsh. Thirty-two through three. Josh Daly gets a ten. 31-3. Walsh in the pocket. Strike! What a shot that was. 42 plus 2 through 4 in the first. Josh gets 2 there. At least the triangle. Five to the left, three six to the right. It's Nate. Thirty-nine through four. Unofficially a six pin lead for Riverwalk. In the first of three Friday night Pro League playoffs. Paul Grimsby. Spread Eagle Productions. Ryan Ford Jr. And Charlie the Terminator Collins on spares. Fuller just off to the right. It's the full horseman. 26 through 2. Have a nice day. Collins, two full. Three two split. Thirty-three through two. Ryan punches up the head pin. Collins just got one. Four or ten. Thirty-six through three. Charlie took it two. Does for an eight. 41 through three in the first of three. 
Ryan's high single of 224, high triple of 474. Head pin hit. Has a chance to the wall. 10 pin in the right corner. Three in the middle, five to the left. The Terminator. Head pin hit. Six, seven, eight. Four, seven lead. Tough piece of wood in front. Fuller for a spare. Yes. Second spare of the string, 46 in the ball through four. Charlie for spare. Did he pick it up? Yes. He's got three marks in four boxes, 51 in the ball through four. Josh, can I get the scores, both sides? We have the official scores here. Riverwalk with the early lead here in the first. Much yeah. more check with Mike at the official scores. Just put the score on the outside here to the left. Oh, after four? Yeah, there will be two boxes here. Frank DeLuca now. He's working on a spare. Gets six. Okay. 44. Mark Ritchie a spare. He gets six. 56 to four. Three marks already. Solid start for the veteran. Toluca. Good try. He got it. Spare. Two in a row. 15 a ball. From five. Ritchie. Nice bid. Just two full. To the right. We have 222 after four. They didn't add theirs. They didn't add theirs. Yeah. Wait, I'm gonna take this row back. Richie and eight. You could just add it up. 64 and a half. Yeah. I just want to check the official score. Frank Toluca working a spare. Had a tough start. Eight, seven, and nine. A spare six. Now another spare. On lane 12. They have 237. That's worth the 15 pin lead. The Riverwalk right now. To Luca on the bonus. Half west to right. Yikes. 52 half. With the pin strike. Hammer time. He's got four marks. 74 and a four plus two through six. Outstanding. Luca trying to work out of a half blister. That's six to go. First of three strings here from Holbrook, Mass. The Friday Night Pro League opening round quarterfinals. We'll cover all four matches today and Spread Eagle Productions. Semifinals and finals to follow. To look on the out. Seven, 59 through six. Two spares. Worth a walk the early lead. Look at the official scores after every two boxes. Completed. All the boards. Aaron Saints here, 48 through 4. It's two spares already. Josh Rio looking for his first marks. Pin well, 38 through 4. Saints there, strike! His third mark, every other box. 58 plus 2 through 5. Rio down the middle, just 3. Spread Eagle plus the 8. Aaron's a 116 league bowler. High single of 160. High triple of 420. High 5, 686. Real in the hole. Ouch. Aaron's high 10, 1241. High 20 of 2401. Originally from Salem, New Hampshire, now lives in Haverhill, Mass. Mike, can I get your official scores every two boxes? 
We are tough four. What did you have? Aaron Chains here working a strike. Has a spare five, a spare six. On lane 12, looking for a double. It's seven. Half was to left, the two eight. To the right is the five. One piece of work. Rio, nice comeback there. Triangle right side, the six, nine, and ten. One piece of wood. St. Cyr for a spear and strike. Almost, good try. Big nine, Phil, though. 67 half. Rio, got it. His first mark after a four box, 52. Plus one through six. St. Cyr, a 10. 77 through six. Excellent first string, always in the Friday Night Pro League. Come on, Nick, go. Yeah. Nick Newell crossing the right. Got a strike and a spare. 15 a ball on the bonus. And 10, 9. 59 through 4. Perfect string, two tens. Strike and a spare. McGinty drills eight. Great piece of wood, the six and a ten. Eight on the spare, 53 through four. He's got three spares already. Kills eight, seven, and eight. Norcross a spare. Strike, spare, spare. 69 half plus one. McGinty for another one. No. Right on for a 10. 63 half. Nick Newcross working a spare in lane 12 in the green shirt. They've been hit for strike. Yes! Strike on spare. McGinty for a strike. Eight has the five and ten. The lower discount. Nick Norcross, 79 half, 89 plus two through six. Strike, spare nine, spare strike. Go get it. Gente for spare, yes. 73 to ball through six. What a match. Charlie Collins, after Josh Taylor, Josh, 39 through four. Jeff Walsh working a strike on the left. It's Riverside, 42 plus two. Daly, off to left, it's a break, steals nine. Seven pin left up. Jeff Walsh on a strike. And pin! Look good. He's at the five to the left, six ten to the right. This is a difficult shot. Daly for a spare. Yes! Second spare of the string, living on the edge. 49 half plus one. Walsh, good try. Nine for Jeff. Nine the strike. Nine in the box. Fifty-one through four. Sixty through five. Daily half west to right on the fill. So spare three to spare two. Fifty-one half. Walsh. Good piece of wood. Head pin goes. 3 6 10 and the 7 to the left. Daly in the hole. It's a power grand shot. Alright, come on. Take 
Josh will be big out here in lane 12. Very intriguing first round matchup. Jeff in the middle missed everything. Daly for the out. Tough five. 56 through 6. Eight for Jeff Walsh. 68 through 6. Brian Fuller Jr. and Charlie Collins both working on spares. The Terminator on the right. Spare 8, spare 5, 8 in the spare. 51 of the ball from 4. Brian Fuller Jr. on the left. 10, spare 6, 10 in the spare. 46 in the ball from 4. Collins on the bonus. It's been hit. Seven to go. Three six in the right. Eight in the field. Fifty nine through four. Full half was to left on the field. Forty eight through four. Look okay, out! Almost. It does go on the delay of game. Another spare. 69 half plus one is fourth spare of the string. Eight for Brian Fuller Jr. 56 half. And then for this one, too. Thank you. This one, Atlas. Charlie Collins, 69 the ball. It's been hit. Diamond. Six in the fill. 75 half. Ryan off to the right. Has a triangle. Five to the right, two, four to the left. Brian's a dangerous bowler. Collins for another mark. Looks good, but too full. Four to the left, five to the right. Fuller. Don't go. Triangles only convert 45% for pro bowls without wood, according to Spread Eagle production stats. Collins. Wide right for an eight. 83 through six. And nine. For Brian Fuller Jr., 65. I do want to for each team. So we'll get the official score in just a moment. Six down, four to go here in the first of three. Friday night Pro League playoffs, quarterfinals, opening round. Winners against the semis. All match on Spread Eagle Productions. While you're there, subscribe free on YouTube to Spread Eagle Productions. That's Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. Yeah, keep the, keep the running total on there if you can. You have it one for them. Uh, working a strike on lane 12 for a double. Uh, a triangle. 74 plus 2 here. 3 6. Frank Luca, 59. 3 6 open on lane 11. Head pin hit. Rolling. Strike. Stall it. 69 plus 2. Richie gets 8 in the strike. Good effort. 82 through 6. What a start. That's a sunny side. Ten. Does I include the eight? Does I, does I include the eight, Phil? No, no. Sorry. We have to reset lane twelve there. All right, Fournier trying to get the official score from here. It's 350 for them right now. Riverwalk's at 350 right now. 
just double checking the score for Sunnyside 2. Outstanding match as expected. Sunnyside 2 has gone 54 and 10. Richie for another strike almost. Nine pin left up. So it's 24 pin lead for Sunnyside 2. Unofficially 24 pin lead for Sunnyside 2. The loop over Demo almost. 10 pin left up. <laughs> Seventy-two percent conversion rate for Pro Bowls without wood for single pins, according to Spread Eagle Production Stats. Richie for a spare missed it. You wanted that one. He doesn't miss those too often. To Luca, he gets his. Still on strike. Seventy-nine through seven, eighty-nine of the ball through eight. <laughs> there, there, we go. there he is. What's going on? What's going on? 10th Mark Ritchie. 102 through 8. On the it's a 34 pin lead to Sunnyside 2. Josh Rio on a spare. 52 in a ball. And playoffs, it's just three games, pinfall at the end. And St. Cyr. There's no points. Open, 77. Rio, good bid for a strike, it's nine. That's a 10 pin. Aaron, 77 through six, open. Head pin. One, it's five. One game roll up. Everybody bowls one game. One whole string mark for tiebreaker. Everybody break. bowls one whole string. string. Okay. If it's a tie, one whole string rolled off. At the end of three strings. Yes. And that throw, another spare for Rio. 61 through 6, 71 on the ball through 7. Aaron has to Kaleri on lean 11. Good day. We go. 7 9 lead. I think she has St. Sarah field goal for an 8. 85 through 7. All scores we give you here are unofficial. Rio on a spare. Nice recovery from the four box. Spare 9. Now another spare. 71 to ball from 7. On the bonus, gets a break, has the 1 and the 2. 79 through 7. Aaron St. Sarah has a break with the 1, 3, and the 9 behind the 3 pin. Rio! Three marks in a row, 89 the ball through eight. St. Sarah for spare. Oh, go. Nine pin left up. Aaron with a nine. 94 through eight. Unofficially 411 to 397. 14 pin lead for Sunnyside 2. The number six seed of the number three seed Riverwalk. Nick Norcross working a strike on fire. Four marks in a row on the left with the green shirt. Mike McGinty on a spare on the right. 73 in a ball. On the bonus, head pin, triangle. Eighty through six. Norcross has a diamond. Good piece of wood to help in the middle. Working on a strike. McGinty's got another one. Fifth mark of the string. Ninety to ball through seven. Norcross eight and a strike. 97 through 6. Tenth and Northcross. 107 through 7. Something spectacular bowling early on here in the first. 
Playoffs. First round of th three. Yep. Opening round, quarterfinals right now. Semis to follow. Finals after that. So for Gray, Caleb, and Ball, and subscribe free on YouTube. That's Spread Eagle Productions. That's Spread Eagle Productions. It's free. Subscribe now. Spread Eagle Productions. McGinty on the spare. Head pin. You get the right side to go. Almost. Six in the fill. 96 for 7. No cross because of Clary. He's only got about 20% for Pro Bowls without wood. You get the triangle plus the 10. Try to sweep it over. Good bid. Six pin left up. Almost three in a row. Low we'll cross. Good effort. All but the eight pin. Nine for both bowlers. McGinty 105 through eight. No cross 116 through eight. What a strength so far for both sides. Josh Dilly on the left, Jeff Walsh on the right for River Riverwalk. 68 through 6 has a spare 4 and a strike 9. Josh Dilly a spare 3 to spare 2. Coming up to 5 blocks, 56 through 6. Both balls open. Walsh the 5 to the right, 8 to the left. Daly head pin hit. 6 7 split. Not, not anymore. Just the 7 pin. Got a break. <laughs> Start at it. <laughs> and Walsh, another spare, his third mark of the string. 78 in the ball. Two seven. Daly missed it. We're doing good. Daly a nine. 65 through seven. I'm just waiting. Jeff Walsh working his third mark, 78 in the ball through seven on lane 12. <laughs> on the bonus, Mr. Headpin has the Clary. 83 through seven. Daily Headpin hit. He's up to one of the three. Two pinners without wood convert 51% for Pro Bowls without wood. Again, all stats provided by Spread Eagle Production Stats. Jeff for the spare. Looks good. Won't go. Good try. Jeff's a 116 league bowler. Career best 124. The high symbol of 194. Daily and spare. 75 in the ball. Three, eight is third spare. Jeff Walsh a 10. 93 through eight. Excellent first string. Here come the ankle bowl. It's the Terminator, Charlie Collins on the left in the red shirt. On the right, Brian Fuller Jr. Come on, Chuck. Keep doing your thing. Let's go. Oh, you got the score card. He says, yeah, that's he says, Brian's side two, 457 to 454. Brian Fuller Jr., 65-6 open. River walk down three in the string. You have one mark. Head pin hit, pin. It's five. Frank to look at Charlie Collins, rather 83 through six open here also on lane 11. It's five, six. Fuller, kick it over, it won't go. Collins missed everything. Full over nine. 
74 through 7. Collins for 10. Yes, what a shot. 93 through 7. Four pin lead, 467, 463 unofficially. Sunnyside 2, the number 6 seed, leads the number 3 seed, Riverwalk. Here in the first of three, Friday Night Pro League playoffs, opening round. Winners go to the semis. Here's a post to Ryan Fuller Jr. Charlie with four spears to string. Guy with two. Head been hit. That's the two, four, and seven. Ryan, good try. 7 10 split. No wood, no luck. Three pin is also convert 51%. Pro Bowl is that wood. Paul's with fifth mark. Won't go. Two fold. Ryan with a nine. 83 through 8. Collins, 9, 102 through 8. Two boxes to go in the first of three. It's a four pin lead. Sunnyside 2 leads Riverwalk by four. 476 to 472 on official. Playoff atmosphere here in Holbrook, Mass. Frank Tuluker working on a spare after a strike. 89 plus the ball through eight. Head been hit. Triangle. 86 through eight. Richie just gets three. Mark 102 through eight. Open here. Nine pots for his three. To look for another mark. He's got it. On fire. Three marks in a row. Five in the last six. 96 in the ball. Through nine. Richie has a 3 2 split. One ball to go. In correction, 96 through eight for Frank DeLuca. 106 in the ball through nine. Mark a tough five. 107. Frank DeLuca on fire. Had it started with an eight and a seven. Had another seven. One spare, two fill, keeping his totals down low. On a spare, 106 in the ball in the ninth. 16 pin lead for sunny side two. Total pinfall, spread eagle. 110 through nine. Richie off to the right. Gets four. 20 pin lead for sunny side two. No point for a string. It's total pinfall for three strings. Luca got one there. All right, good try. Has a check mark. Luca trying to get three. It's two for a seven. One seventeen for a string. Richie on the out. It's eight. One fifteen for him also. Oh, yeah, try to get a 117. Mark Richie, 115. Unofficially, it's 504 to 485. A 19 pin lead for Sunnyside 2 in the first of three. Opening round, Friday night Pro League playoffs for Union Street Lanes over Mass. Both teams with one spare apiece. Aaron Saints here on the right, 94 through 8 open. Josh Rio on the left, working a spare. He has three in a row, 89 in the ball. Aaron has the triangle. Josh started off. 45 on a spare. He gets the triangle. Seven in the fill, 96 to 8. Strong recovery. Spear 9, Spear 8, Spear 7. There in the middle is open. 12 pin lead for Sunnyside 2. They have one mark to none. Advantage in their favor over Riverwalk. Two exceptional talented teams. Three out on to the right is open. 
Eight for Aaron St. Cyr. 102 through nine. As a spare five, spare six, and strike nine. Josh Rio at 10. 106 to nine. Josh Rio, 116 league bowl, high single 179, high triple 435, high five is 697. Home lanes, Academy lanes, Haver Mass, and Riverwalk Plains, Greensboro Mass. Aaron St. Sarah, head bin, has a six on the right, seven on the left, some wood to help. Rio, off to the left. It's six, has the one, three, six, and the seven to the left, no wood. There is high 10, 12, 41, high 20, 24, 01. If I kick it over, I could try. We are too full, good try. What is out of play? It's going to go around it anyway. Nine. 111 first string for Aaron St. Cyr. Rio and eight. 114. Solid, solid finish after a 42 half. 114. It's 521 to 510. Sunday side two up by 11 plus a bonus ball when Josh Daly comes up after Nick Norcross. First of three strings. Exciting first string. Nick, 116 through 8. Yeah. Mike McGinty, 105 through 8. Bill Cross, good lead, the 3, 6, and the 10. I got the special research done. McGinty, head pin. Has the 9. It goes away now, just the 10. Very unenthusiastic. Bill Cross had 4 marks in a row. A strike, spare 9, spare strike, 8. Mike, spare 8, spare 7, spare 8, spare 7, spare 6. And Nick missed to the left. Missed opportunity. Can't you for a spare? Yes! Got the break! Just the way he drew it up. You're a veteran now. That was a veteran. 115 the ball through 9. The plot thickens. One spare apiece for each side. Nick Norcross and 8. 124 through 9. 529. 520. Sunny side 2 on the right. Leads by 9. Over Riverwalk on the left. Norcross off to the right. Steals 9. Just the head pin. McGinty on the bonus. Head pin. 7. What's coming back? 5 to the right. 4 7 to the left. 122 through 9 for the 125 league bowler. Norcross spare. And the 10th. 134 and a ball. Finish up the string. McGinty, can he kick it over? Oh, what a try. That looked so good. <laughs> right, wide right for nine. 131. First string for Mike McGinty. <laughs> Nick Norcross, 134 in a ball, the 10th. And a strike on Spare to finish the string, 144. Can we calculate those? Four boxes to go in the first of three. Total pinfall determines the match. No points for a string. Exciting first string from uh, Holbrook, Senior Street Lanes. The Friday night Pro League playoffs opening round. The winners advance to the Sunday finals. Josh Daly working with a spare on lane 12. 75 and a ball. We get the out of 141. Right now, right now. Okay. We'll have a correction on a score for Ripple Off. We'll check that in just a moment. Daly on his third mark of the string. 
has been hit nine. 84 through eight. Jeff Walsh head pin hit for strike. Yes. His second strike of the string. One all three plus two through nine. And Daly with a spare. He's got two in a row. His fourth of the string. 94 and a ball through nine. What a match. Two more to go after this. It's hard to keep up with the score in this. Take first pitch, huh? Yeah. Daly on the right on a spare. Jeff Walsh on a strike to the left. Unofficially, 12 pin lead for Sunnyside 2. Daly had been 6 100 through 9 with four spares. Jeff Walsh's fourth mark. On the strike for double! Oh, almost. Wobbly nine pin. That looked good. Daly with three six to the right, four seven to the left. Good effort. Ball square on strike. One thirteen through nine. One twenty three in a ball in the ten. Daily a nine, 109, first string. <laughs> Do you want to just correct those scores immediately if you can? Brian Torn, help me out with this scoring here. Walsh is scared of Pepper's first string. Right down the middle, seven, eight. What a string. 131 for Jeff Walsh. Great job. The match is tied here in the first. Unofficially, we're going to check the official scores. Unofficially, it's 574 apiece. These are not the official scores, though. Both balls open. Two boxes to go on the first of three. Total pinfall determines the winner. The winner goes to the semifinals. The Terminator, Charlie Collins, off to the left. Gets five. Ryan Fuller Jr. head bend for a strike. Nine. Four pin to the left. Go get it. Nothing easy here, buddy. Oh, Collins, oh, good try. Four pin left up. Fuller. Spare. Nine. 93 and a ball through nine. And they'll take the lead in the spare throw. Collins a 10, 112 through 9. Final box of the first string, two more to go. Collins, head pin, diamond, look at the triangle. Fuller on the spare, on the head pin. Seven, wood coming out of play. 100 through nine. Eight pin lead for Riverwalk here in the first of three. Brian, thanks for keeping score, Brian. How you, how's your health been lately? Eh, not too bad. I'm hanging in there now. So, another day at a time. <laughs> you work, still work at Ryan Film Amusements in Millis, Mass? Yep. I'm still over there. I'm going to go in a little bit today. Danny so. Finn and Kate did a great job out on the bear. They did. How about Mercy awesome. Ewing, the 18 year old, first woman, the youngest ever to win that tournament? They're bowling off lately. Well, letter state two senator. Things, so. She's been all over the place. A state senator letter and the newspaper in Franklin. Good for her. Bowling right on my league on Tuesdays. And she bowls Sundays now, so she's putting in the work. Ryan, 7-9 lead, final ball of the string. Charlie waiting for his balls to return. Outstanding first string. All the bullets giving it their all. This is the Friday Night Pro League playoffs opening round for the finals. So Brian, for those who don't know, you tell the bowlers about your game, like what are you averaging 
Uh, you bowl and uh, right now I'm averaging 109. Uh, I bowl a lot of millis. Uh, both for Sunnyside, well, Sunnyside one and the uh, Friday Pro. We didn't do too well this year, but then I'm bringing the team back next year and kicking some butt. <laughs> and uh, how, what's your high single? Uh, 186. High triple? Uh, 458. High five? And 721. High 150 straight. <laughs> <laughs> It's been a long time since I put up those numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for helping out with the scoring. No worries. Anytime. Collins in the out. It's an eight. 120 for a string for the Terminator. Yeah. Well, well, I'm ahead of myself, ball. <laughs> <laughs> this ball didn't come back. That's why. Fuller and eight. Ends up with a 108 for a string. And like I said, a nine for Charlie Collins. 121 for a string. Let me check the official scores. We'll put the box to box scores up here for now. Two more strings to go here from Holbrook, Mass. Union Straight Lanes. The Friday Night Pro League playoffs, opening round, quarterfinals. Paul Grimsby Live on Probably Spread Eagle Productions. Scores are correct. Scores are official. Can you write those down again, please, Brian? So 609 to 602. Is that Riverwalk or 609, right? 609 so Riverwalk takes it by 7, 609, 602. <laughs> Second string to start. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Walk. So I decided to two. Just one, two, three. So I'll tell you three. Hey, Mark Rich, we lead off the second string here. Right. Uh, 64 half ended up with a 115 first string. Four marks. And just the seven pin to start the second. Frank to Luker. 117 for a string. It's three to the right. <laughs> At 24 is first three. 93 is last seven. Richie trying to bounce back. Off to the right. He's a five. <laughs> Toluca, two fold. He's a five also. Richie is seven. Toluca trying to get a bunch here. In the hole for five. Two pin lead for Riverwalk in the string. We're up nine in the match. Second of three strings underway here. A recap of the first string. Riverwalk is down. Round at the end to take it by seven, but no points. Total pinfall determined. Should there be a tie after three strings? A full one string roll off to both teams. And that would only be fitting for these two teams. Outstanding all year. Sunnyside 2 is down near the bottom. Furious finish to get the number six. Just a month ago, they're out of the playoffs. Richie with six. Luca with a strike. Nine. Seven pin left up. Mark from Plass down in Hampshire. Just for one of the seven. Frank's high single 197, high triple 422, high five 681. For a spare, he's got it. 15 in the ball. Through two here in the second. Richie and eight, 15 through two. Tied here, but Sunnyside two on a spare. Down seven in the match. Josh Rio on the right struggled early in the first out of four blocks in the fifth, 42 half, and had a spare nine, spare eight, spare seven, and a 114 first string. Aaron St. Cyr had a spare five, spare six, strike nine, 111 in the first string. He's on the left for Sunnyside two. <laughs> Rio head pin. Come on, carry. 
Four left, ten to the right. Tough split. St. Cyr, wide right. Gets four. Rio, field goal. Uh, kick it off the wall. Just missed. St. Cyr, off to the right. That's the parallel pins in the middle. One five to the right. To the left is the two and the eight and the seven left corner. No wood. Rio, field goal for an eight. Aaron. St. Cyr, a nine. To start the second. 24-23. One pin lead for Sunnyside, two in the string. Down six in the match. Thrilling first string. Rio. Just missed the head pin. That's the hat from the four. It's been left of one, two, four, and seven. St. Cyr, back door, eight. One and the eight left up. Josh just got the two pin. St. Cyr for spare. Good effort. Won't go. Josh Rio, two, yes, for nine. 17 through two. St. Cyr gets the 10. 19 through two. Here in string number two of three. 34 32. Sunny side two up by two in the string. Down five in the match. The winners advance to the semifinals. All matches on Spread Eagle Productions. Subscribe free on YouTube to Spread Eagle Productions. Third ball is out of five. Mike McGinty. That's the one, two, and the four. Nick Norcross, head pin. Just the three pin left up for a spare. Nick at a 144 in the first. Mike McGinty at 141. For a spare, just missed it. So close. Nick misses to the right. McGinty. Nice 10. No cross 9. Wasn't there. One pin lead for Sunnyside 2. 43 42. They're down 6 in the match. 2 exceptional teams head to head here in the opening round playoffs. Friday Night Pro League. McKenzie head pin hit. Tough lead. That's the check mark. Look at the triangle plus the 10 pin. No across. Head pin hit. It's the 10 pin to go. Has the 2 and the 7. Three pieces of wood. Oh, what a try. Almost, almost pulled it off. He did. And a spare for Nick Norcross. 19 in the ball through two here in the second three. 9 from McGinty. 19 through two. Riverwalk opened the first six boxes. Start the second. Two pin lead plus two bonus balls for Sunny Side 2. They're down five in the match. They have the virtual lead right now with those two bonus balls. Jeff Walsh on the right for Riverwalk out of Amesbury, Mass. Jeff had a 131 first string and 93 through 8 out of strike, spare 8. Five marks in the first, including two strikes. Josh Daly, four spares, 109 in the first. Half west to left for Walsh. Daly had been a 2 2 split. 
Jeff from Rutland, Mass. 116 league bowler, high single 194. Good effort, leads up to four and a seven. Jeff's high triple, 445. Daily, good effort, leads up to six and a ten. Opposite two pinners. Walsh, a nine. Nine after one. Daily, a nine. Nine after one. 62 60. Two pin lead for Sunnyside, two here in the second. Down five in the match. Friday Night Pro League opening round, playoffs. Wow, head to head, look at this. Are you kidding me? Wow. How often you see this? Take a picture of that, folks. Put some wood, maybe to help. Daily had been hit. We get a split. The 10 goes. Now it's just the 2 and the 4. Got a break. Walsh in the middle, at least the 4 7 left, 6 10 to the right. Just gotta laugh when you get a shot like that, I guess. Daily for spare, missed it. Maybe frustrated. Seven for Jeff Walsh. 16 through 2. Eight open boxes to start the second. Riverwalk. Daily, 9. 18 through 2. 71 67. Four pin lead for Sunnyside, two in the string. Down three in the match. Anchor ball is coming up. Ryan Fuller Jr. on the right. 108 in the first string. Charlie Collins, the Terminator, on the left. The sunny side two at a 121 in that first string. Ryan has the four spin left of one, two, four, and seven. Collins, head pin hit, strike! Here goes the Terminator. 10 plus 2. First strike of the match. Pull is open, good bid. Charlie had four spares in the first, and a 75 half. Open his last five. Fuller at 10. Charlie had three spares in that first string. Four pin lead with three bonus balls. Actually, four with a strike here from Charlie Collins. Two spares and a strike to no marks. Riverwalk. 0 for 9 so far here to start the second. Ryan on to the left. That's the 1, 3, 6, and the 7 left corner. Terminator on a strike. At 10 strikes now, Johnson's killing for Chicanza qualifying round last month, including a double strike and a triple strike. Bola, good try. Collins for a spare and strike. Yes! 20 through 1, 30 to ball through 2 here in the second. Bola Jr., 10. Two tens, 20 through two. Unofficially, 101 to 87. 14 pin lead for Sunnyside, two in the strength. They're up seven in the match, and they have four marks to none over Riverwalk. The number three seed, Riverwalk. Number six seed, Sunnyside, two. A highly competitive first string. One by Riverwalk. 609 to 602. Frank DeLuca working a spare up there at five blocks, 15 in the ball. On the fill, six. 21 through two. Making a 117 in the first. Mark Ritchie half was to right, got the three in the nine. Mark a 115 in that first string. 
three spears and a strike. Toluca got one. How you doing? Frank had four spears and a strike in the first. Richie leads up six. 20 pin lead here in the second. The sunny side two. We're up 13 in the match. Luke and eight. 29 through three with that spare six. Mark Ritchie. Tough six. 21 through three. Only time left. Twenty-two pin lead now in the string. Fifteen in the match. The sunny side two. Up one fifteen ninety-three here in the second. Two spares to none advantage also. Saluka has the four spin right to one, three, six, and ten. Richie head been hit. Good ball. It's nine. Ten strike. Their first mark of the second, 31 plus 2 through 4. The captain delivers for Riverblock. They needed that one. Toluca, look go, yes! Slow motion spare, 39 the ball through 4 for Frank Toluca. 22 pin lead to strength, 15 the match. Three marks to one advantage for Sunnyside 2 here in the second of 3. Outstanding match. Aaron Saints here on the right, 19 through 2. Josh Rio on the left, 17 through 2. Josh 114 in the first. Aaron Saint Cyr, 111 in the first. Thrilling match here at Holbrook Mass. Aaron out of Haverhill, Mass. Just 24 years old. Pulls the Atlantic Camp and Singles to our Pro Division Open Conference. Pulls number one seed John Winchell. This Thursday night, June 9th. Josh Rio, head been hit. That looked good. As the seven and the eight holds up. Not anymore. Great chance for a spare. This should be a layup. Aaron, nice bid. Won't go to the nine. Rio is spare. 27 the ball through three. St. Sarah nine. 28 through three. He just down to four for Sunnyside two, but they have a bunch of marks. Three to two in their favor. Aaron St. Cyr has been hit as a 7 8 split. And that wood stays in play, it does. Rio on the spare. For strike, yes! Strike on spare! 37 through 3, 47 plus 2 through 4. He's the one. Oh, what a shot for spare! Wow! 38 the ball through 4. They're debating to say more wows. Nick Norcross working a spare. Six pin lead for Riverwalk now. Go 13 the match. It's going back and forth. Mike McGinty on the left, 19 through 2, open. Go across the bonus. Looks good. Strike on spare. 29 through 2. 39 plus 2 through 3. What a battle. Mike trying to right. 2, 4, 7 to the left. Working. 
Oh, oh what a try. McGinty. <laughs> and he cleans it up. Well, gets a nine, actually. Constructive view here. 28 through 3. Good pinning. No cross. Punch out two half Wister working a strike though. Genty head pin. That's a check mark on the right, seven to the left. A good piece of wood to help. Good, good, good bid there. That's the five and the six to the right. Eight on the strike. 47 through three. McGinty, another good try. He's up to five and the seven. Two excellent bids in their second shot. Nine for Norcross. 56 through four. What a start. McGinty, nice 10. 38 through four. Excellent pinning. Unofficially, 181 to 152. A 29 pin lead. For Sunnyside, two in the second of three, up 22 in the match. Josh Daly, 18 through two open. For Sunnyside, two on the right. River walk on the left. Here's Jeff Walsh. 16 is first two. Daly, 3 2 split. Make it a 2 2 split. Walsh. It's a break. That's a seven, eight, nine, though. Two pieces of wood. Daly missed that pin. Had four marks in that first string with a 109. Jeff outstanding. Five Come on, Daly. Mark. Start over. First start. First string, 131. And he's up to seven and the eight. Daly gets the short two for nine. Three nines, 27 through three in the second three. Ball should eight. Just at 24 through three. Coming up that 131 for a string. Unofficially 190 to 160. Sunny side two up by 30 in the string. Up 23 in the match. Three marks to two advantage. Also. Josh Daly, head pin hit, nine. King pin left up, that's the five pin. Walsh, head pin, triangle. A lot of triangles today. Six, nine to the ten. Two pieces of wood off to the left. Daly for his first mark. He got it. Second string. 37 the ball through four. Oh, a go. Oh, you, well, it does go. What a shot. Sorry, relief for Jeff Walsh is sparing the fourth. 34 and a ball. Charlie Collins, a strike and a spare. 30 and a ball through two. Brian Fuller, two tens. 20 through two is open on the left. I call it Charlie Collins the Terminator. It's a strike machine. Going anchor the last two or three months since the lineup changed. They've been on a roll. On the bonus, seven. Great piece of wood with a three, six, and ten. 37 through two. The second of three. Ryan Fuller Jr. Half made for the full husband left. One, two, four, and seven. Collins for another mark. No. Want to go a little more left. Fuller for the spare. And the head pin. Lots of time left. Collins to nine. 46 through three. Trying to 10 off the wall. Three tens, 30 through three. The 
Terminator. Strike! Right on cue! Explosive shot, 56.2 through 4. Second strike of the string for the Terminator. Pull of 7 drop, 247. For a spare. No. Deserve better on that shot. 10. Four tens. That's what you got to do as a pro bowler when you're getting marks. 40 through 4. Paul Graham with you. Holbrook at Union Street Lane. The opening round of the Friday Pro League playoffs. Outstanding match. Back to the top of the order. Mark Ritchie on the right. Working a strike 31 plus 2. Trying to second on the strike. Right in the middle, spread eagle. Trying to look over in the spare, 39 the ball. Three, four. That looks good, but a 2 1 split. Brian. What, is that Sunny side? This is Sunny side. Uh, great 17, buddy. Great 17. 7 for Mark Ritchie in the strike. 38 through 4. Frank DeLuca for spare 7, 46 through 4. Oh, what a shot! Spare! The wood helped. 56 in the ball through 5. Ritchie, 9. Marks at 47 through 5. After a 21 through 3 start, nice recovery. That includes the marks. So it's 243 to 269 officially. 27 pin lead. For some side, two in the string. They're up 20 in the match. In the second of three strings here. Friday Night Pro League opening round playoffs. Winners go to the semifinals. The winner goes to the semifinals. Richie, head pin hit. Eight, nine, maybe. Nine it is. Just a 10 pin. <laughs> Luca has been hit. Strike! On spare. He's got three in a row. 66 half. 76 in the ball through six. It's out of the five box. 71 in the last five plus the ball. Richie trying to use that wood. He got it. Nice shot. Back on track. 57 of the ball through six. A second mark of the string. The captain delivers. Brian Fournier checking the math for us here. Number three seed Riverwalk trailing right now. The number six seed Sunny Side 2. Aaron Saints here on the left working a spare, 38 in the ball. Josh Rio on the right working a strike after a spare, 47 plus 2 through 4. Josh takes his time. Head pin hit. That's the 8 and the 10. Working a strike. Bunch of wood to help. St. Sarah, the bonus. Tough 5. 1, 7, 8, 6, and 10 to the right. 43 through 4 in the second of 3. Rio trying to kick it over. Oh, that shot for Scar and strike. 57 through 4. 67 half plus 1. St. Sarah, what a try. 7 pin left up. Heck of a bid. <laughs> Josh from Old Mass. St. Sarah 9. 52 half. Josh Rio in 2019. 
won the Rose Between Two Thorns Tournament at Academy Lanes in Haverhill Master. Nate Lees and Rory Lewis won King of the Hill at Chuck Deroja at the old now, New Palace Lanes in Pitchford, Mass. And also won a best three out of five doubles tournament in 2020 with Austin Barnes at Webster Timber Lanes in Abington, Mass. Recently, Josh converted the 7-10 without Wood for his first time in his career. On the bonus, it's five. 72 half. Carrying parallel pins plus the eight. Josh, a 160 league bowler. High single, 179. High triple, 435. High five is 697. Is open. St. Sarah is open also. That's four left up. Rio gets the short two for nine. 81 through six. Excellent start. St. Sarah in eight. 60 through 6. 285, 250, 35 pin lead for Sunnyside 2. They've been surging of late. They're up 28 in the match. Lost the first by 7. Mike McGinty. Half was left for 1, 2, 4, and 7. 38 through 4. Daily. I'm sorry, Nick Northcross up rather. 56 through 4 is open. <laughs> McGinty for Spain. Yeah, yes! There you go, kid! Nice job. That's the one that gets you going! 48 in the ball through 4. His first mark of the second string. No cross leads up the floor pin. He's open. Josh Daly up next. No cross at 10. 66 half. 35 pin lead. 295 to 260 unofficially in the string for Sunnyside 2. The number 6 seed over the number 3 seed, Riverwalk. They're up 28 in the match. McGinty just off to the right. He's up the one, two, and the nine in the back. No cross off to the right as the Caleri. Seven of the fill. Fifty-five half. And he's up the nine pin. Good try. No cross. He's up to two, four, and seven. High R for a 10 from McGinty, 65 through six. Great pinning in the string. Low cross nine, 75 through six. After that 144 first string, Mike McGinty had a 141 in the first. Now he has Josh Daly in the left, working his spare. 37 of the ball through four. Jeff Walsh in the right for Riverwalk, also on a spare. 34 in the ball through four. Brian Forney helping out with the official scoring. Riverwalk won the first 6.09 to 6.02. Up by 27 here in the second, 20 in the match. Three marks to two advantage for Sunnyside 2. Both on spirits. Walsh gets a break. Has the two and the four. 42 through four. Josh Daly on lane 11. The lefty on a bonus. In the pocket, nine. Two pin left up. 46 through four. The right hander, Jeff Walsh, for a spare. Missed it to the left. He wanted that one. Daly for another one. Wide right. Can't believe it. Got away. Maybe they had done that. Beside himself. Ten for Jeff Walsh, 52 half. Daily with the fall grand special, missed the second, make the third for 10. 56 half. Unofficially 323, 295, 28 pin lead. 
in the strength of sunny side two of 21 in the match second of three strings here from union street lanes holbrook mass the friday night pro league opening round playoffs the winner goes to the semifinals another four horsemen daily for strike nine that would have been a great fill trying to bounce back Jeff with a 1, 2, 4, 7, 36% conversion rate for Pro Bowlers. He's up the head pin. Daly for a spare. Got it this time. 66 in the ball through 6. Second spare of the string. Would have been 3 in a row. Walsh nails it for a 10. 62 through 6. 333 to 305. 28 pin lead. For sunny side two on the string, 21 in the match. One more string to go after this. It's been close all day long. Watch all these matches and more. Great Canlip and Bowling on Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. Hit subscribe, it's free. I'll support the game of Canlip and Bowling. Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. Brian Fuller Jr., four tens to start the second, 40 through four, has a diamond with a piece of wood. The Terminator, Charlie Collins, working a strike, 56 plus two on lane 11. For a double, only gets four. Got a strike, spare seven, nine, and a strike. Pull is open. Two to the left, five to the right. Collins. Oh, what a shot for spare! Wow! Still on strike. 66 through 4. 76 half plus 1. 4 and 8. 48 half. The lead increases to 40 in the string. They're 33 in the match. Sunny side 2. Three marks to one advantage also. Riverwalk is an explosive team. Pull is two full. Three two split. The Terminator, Charlie Collins, on the spare. Off to the right. Another full horseman. A lot of those today. 82 half for the 21 year older out of Waltham Mass. Just finished his third year in college. Brian, good try. These up to three and the six. The Terminator, two full. Brian Fuller, five tenths and eight, 58 through six. Collins, 10, 92 through six. What a start. 369 to 323. It's a 46 pin lead. For Sunnyside 2, up 39 in the match, unofficially. Paul Graham with you on Spread Eagle Productions. The Friday Night Pro League opening round playoffs at Union Street Lanes, Holbrook, Mass. Right to look at working on three spares in a row, four in the last five, 76 in the ball. Mark Rich in the left for Riverwalk on a spare, 57 in the ball. Three six, I should say. Both balls starting at seven blocks. Second string of three. Deluca, half was to left, out. 78 through six. Richie on the spare. Been hit. Look at this. The three, seven, eight, and ten. 63 through six. Luca has the high low jack, the 1710. No money to give out today. The captain for Riverwalk. Oh, what a try! He got it! Wow! What a shot for spare! Incredible! Three marks and four, two in a row, 73 and a ball through seven. What a shot by Richie! To look for a seven. 85 through seven. Outstanding. That's a highlight reel shot.
Frank with four spears in the string. Open here now. Eighth box, second string of three. Back in the head, pin. Six, ten to right, seven left. Bunch of wood to help. Richie on the bonus. What a shot. Almost a strike. A thunderous nine. 82 through seven. A three, seven, eight, ten for a spare and a nine on the fill. Luca trying to kick it over. Oh, what a shot off the wall for a spare. 95 and a ball through eight. Fifth knock of the string. Richie, a spare. He's got three in a row. Four in the last five. 92 and a ball through eight. After a 21 through three start. Sensational. The lead is down to 30 in the string for Sunnyside 2. They're up 23 in the match. Great battle. Aaron CC on the right. Sunnyside 2. Josh Rio on the left. The Riverwalk Lanes. Out of Amesbury, Mass. Eight lane vintage bowling alley since 1946. Check it out. Riverwalk Lanes. Amesbury, Mass. Say, Sarah! Strike! 70 plus 2 through 7. Second mark of the string. Rio off to the right. Three. 81 through six open. Aaron had a strike in the first string. Has one here on the second now. Josh Tough Lee with a one in the middle. Four seven left. Six ten to the right. Open prey in this shot. Oh, what a shot for 10! Incredible! Wow! 91 through 7. Did some outstanding second shots and spare shots today, both sides. Some bowlers get discouraged in a lead like that. Going right in there. That's pro bowling. Aaron on a strike on the right. There's a 10 for Rio. 91 and 7. Aaron 7 to strike. Has the 1, 2, and the 8 behind the 2 pin. Josh, a 3 pinner. 51% chance to convert. 1, 3, and the 6. St. Stair for a spare strike. It's 9. 79 through 7. Rio looks good, but too full. St. Cyr, a 10. 89 through 8. Rio, 9. 100 through 8. Unofficially, 417 to 377. 40 pin lead for Sunnyside 2 in the string. They're 33 in the match. Nick Norcross on the right, 75 through 6 is open here in the second string. Mike McGinty open on the left, 65 through 6. Nick half left to left. <laughs> McGinty, two full, spread eagle. Go across. He's up the one, the four, and the ten. Mike does his job, gets the three on the left. Second string of three here from Holbrook Matt. Friday Night Pro League, opening round playoffs. The winning team goes to semifinals. Nice off the North Cross. Nick's at 84 through 7. Right that 144 first string. McGinty a 9. 74 through 7. McGinty Magic on the first, 141. It's one mark, a spare 7 in the fifth. Nick with a spare strike 8 in the second third box here in the second. 
Two marks to one advantage for Sunnyside, too. In the pocket, has the five to the right, the eight to the left. One piece of wood. McKinsey, nice ball. That looks good. And the Domino's delivers for a strike. Eighty-four plus two through eight. Good cross. He has to despair. Ninety-four and a ball through eight. Unofficially, 436 to 396. 40 pin lead for Sunnyside 2. The number six seed over the number three seed, Riverwalk Lanes. You're up 33 in the match. Josh Dealey on a spare in the green shirt for Sunnyside 2 on lane 12. 66 in the ball. Jeff Walsh open on the left. 62 through 6. Had a spare 8 in the fourth. Josh a spare 9 in the fourth. Now a spare here in the sixth. As the Caleri, 71 through 6. Walsh gets a break. That's the 1, the 3, and the 7. Not easy, but makeable. One piece of wood. Daly. Nice try, almost. Walsh just off to the right, I expect. Daly, nine, eighty through seven. Walsh, nine. Let's go, Daly. Jeff said seventy one through seven. Brian, your thoughts on the match so far? It's going to be a battle. Everyone's, just, anyone's explosive for both teams. So. And big walk being the three seed, they're gonna they're gonna come out firing no matter what. Daly, Mr. Ed Finn gets five. Walsh, head pin. Three one split. Three six ten on the right, that's the four, it's the left. Daly, nice big let go, not quite. Walsh well, trying to kick it over, almost. Two great shots by two great bowlers. Daly for a 10, won't go. 89 through 8. Walsh, bingo. 81 through 8. 459 to 415. It's a 44 pin, 44 pin lead for Sunnyside 2. You're up 37 in the match. One more string to go after this. The winner goes to the semifinals. Anchors up, both open. Charlie Collins, the Terminator, 92 through 6, has two strikes in the string and two spares. Brian Fuller Jr. looking for his first mark. It's 5 tens and an 8, 58 through 6. At a 108 in the first. Charlie Collins, the Terminator, 121 in the first. Spread Eagle. That's the 247 left side, 36 to the right. Four for a strike. It's nine. That's a seven pin. I don't expect Ryan to stay this low in the scores for long. He's pinning really well. Charlie got the three in the left. Fuller for his first mark of the second. Yes. 68 in the ball through seven. Him and Sean Winchell have won five consecutive money match, $2,500 prizes. Collins, eight, 100 through seven. Charlie's a 116 league bowler, high single 191, high triple 425, high five 652. Just his second year bowling in the pros, and has so much potential, it'd be great. He was 21 years old on Walter Mass. Head been hit, but that's a 3 1 split. 3 6 10 to the right, 4 to the left. Fuller on the spare, tough break, spread eagle. 72 through 7. Collins open, has the four to the left, ten to the right. Fuller Jr., nice effort. 
Spread Eagles only convert 1% for Pro Bowls, not wood. 20 for 10 boxes. According to Spread Eagle production stats. Oh, uh, strike against one. Does for nine. 109 through eight. Eight for Ryan. 80 through eight. Unofficially 476 to 437. 39 pin lead in the second string. 32 in the match for Sunnyside 2. The number six seed leads to number three seed Riverwalk. Back to the top of the order. Frank Luke on the left working his spare. 95 to ball three. Mark Rich on the right working his spare. 92 in the ball three. Oh, what a shot for a strike on spare. 102 through 8. 112. Plus 2 through 9. He's got four marks in a row. Toluca for a strike. It's 9. On the spare. 104 through 8. He has five spares in the string. Mark Richard with five marks. Including two strikes now. Toluca right off for a spare. 114 the ball through 9. Great match here in Holbrook, the Friday Night Pro League opening round playoffs. Catch them all on Spread Eagle Productions. Subscribe by the for free. Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. Mark a strike, seven, spare six, spare nine, spare strike. On lane 12. For double. Good bid. He's at the three and the six. Luca on the spare, right down the middle, five. 119 through nine for the 114 league bowler. Richie just misses the right. 121 through nine. Oh, what a try! Almost. 6-10. Heck of a bid. Richie, 9. 130. Okay, correction, 10. It came back. Put my head down. I write the score down. 131. After a 21 start, 110 the last seven boxes. Mark Richie, the captain. 10 for DeLuca, Frank, 129 in the second. 5, 10 to 476, 34 pin lead for Sunnyside, two in the string of 27 of the match. And that is close in the Friday Night Pro League. Let's go. in the playoffs. Josh Rio on the right for Riverwalk. Aaron Saints here on the left for Sunnyside, two. Awesome match so far. Josh Rio 100 through 8 open. Aaron open 89 through 8. Josh had three marks to a spare. Strike spare five. It's eight there. It's the five to the left, nine to the right. Two pinners convert 51%. The Pro Bowls are what according to spread eagle production stats. Aaron the parallel pins plus the nine. In the middle is the one five. To the left is the two and the eight. One piece of wood. Rio for a spare. Only got one. St. Cyr. Oh, what a try. Look out, yes! A delay of game spare. 99 of the ball through nine. In the second of three. Rio at nine. 109 through nine. The lead increases for Sunnyside, too. How about the lead-up bowlers? Mark Ritchie, 131, and Frank Luca 129. Frank, 117 in the first, 129 in the second. He's at 246. Through two. And Mark Ritchie, 115, 131, 246 through two. Rio, good break there with the one, three, and six. St. Sarah in the bonus. Head pin. Nine. The king pin left up. That's the five pin. Great piece of wood. 108 through nine. 
two spears and a strike in the string. Fifty one percent success rate for pro bowlers for three pinners. Rio for Riverwalk just missed it. Aaron for a spare again. Yes, two spares. Three in the last four boxes a mark. 118 the ball in the tenth. Four marks in the string. I thought you were trying to let out a fart or something. <laughs> Rio a nine. 118 second string. 114 the first. 232 for two. Aaron closing out a second string. 118 of the ball on lane 11. Right in the pocket. Actually a little full. There's some instructive view back here. 6 124 for the 24 year older from Haverhill, Mass. 235 through 2. Four, 545 to 497. 48 pin lead for Sunnyside 2. A 41 of the match. Mike McGinty for Riverbach working a strike. 84 plus 2. Nick Norcross from the left for Sunnyside 2 on a spare. McGinty, nice ball. Five to the right, four, seven to the left. Norcross on the bonus. It's good. Nine. Wobbling 10 pin holds up. Give is open. Nick's at 103 to 8. We're coming out of play. Mark Ritchie will clear it. Brian Forney, thank you for helping out with the scoring. No problem. Let's double check everything right now. This is the Friday night Pro League playoffs from Union Street Lanes, Holbrook, Mass. McKinty had a nine fill. McKinty had nine fill on the strike. 93 through eight. No cross. Got it. A spare. Two in a row, 113 the ball through nine. McGinty cleans it up for a 10, 103 through nine. Sunnyside two has been red hot of late. 54 and 10. Down the stretch. They lead 564 to 513 here in the second. 51 can lead in a string of 44 in the match. But Riverwalk uh, are a dangerous team. Post McGinty plus one. Norcross steals seven. That's the one, two, and the four. 120 through nine and a 144 in the first. Looking for three in a row to close out the second. McGinty for a spare. Good try. Not the 10 pin though. Go across, off the wall, square, three in a row, 130 in a ball in the 10th, fifth mark of the string, McGinty at 10, 113, 141 and 113, 254 through two. Fifty-eight pin lead in the strength, fifty-one in the match. The sunny side two. No across the bonus. Eight. One forty-four in the first. One thirty-eight in the second for Nick Norcross from Arlington, Mass. Two eighty-two through two. Four boxes to go in the second of three. All open. We're trying to chip away at the deficit. Plenty of time left. I expect him to come swinging this third string. Not official. Jeff Walsh, head ping, it's nine. Back to the top of the order. Daly drops nine. Walsh, good bids, open. 
Daily for spare. No, in the gutter. That won't count. Nine. 98 through 9. 109 is first string. Jeff Walsh had a 131 to first. Gets a 10. 91 through 9. Mark Ritchie. The bright star for Riverwalk in the second. 131. Both balls missed opportunities for spares in the ninth. 10 Fox second string. Walsh, head pin. Seven pin left up. Daly in the pocket. Ugly lead. Has the five in the middle. Eight to the left, seven, ten corner pins. Two pieces of wood. Seventy-two percent success rate for pro bowls without wood. Same offense. Again, all stats provided by Spread Eagle Production Stats. Run by the Great Bob Lee. Does a remarkable job behind the scenes. There's so much of this game that came up from bowling. Wish I had his technical expertise. I am my father's son. Kudos to Bob Lee, Spread Eagle Productions. While you're there, subscribe for free. Help support the great game of Kenneth Bowling. Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. And tell your friends and family. Watch countless hours of videos. Atlantic County Singles Tour, Pro League Playoffs, Friday Night Pro League, Sunday Monthly Pro League, Maine Tournaments. I'll be up in Maine next Saturday, next Sunday rather, for a 10 Stringer money match. Matt Huff, Paul Dyer, Mark Carrier, and Mark Lever. 11 o'clock live. I'll be on Bowling Nerd Network. 11 o'clock next Sunday, June 11th. And Canada Pistol Cancer taping is June 18th. Saturday, June 18th, 11 o'clock at Lita Lanes National New Hampshire. First round will be Charlie Collins, the Terminator, and Josh Daly. Josh, the fifth seed, jo jo Charlie Collins, the fourth seed. Third seed is Wayne Springfield. Well, I'll fix it up. A spare. 101 the ball in the 10th. Needed that one. Number two seed is Fred Goldberg. Daly just missed it. Number one seed is Jonathan Boudreaux. Outstanding lineup. Come on down and support the guys. Saturday, June 18th, 11 a.m. Lee Lane, National Hampshire. Daly with a 9. 107, second string. 216 through 2. Jeff Walsh. For a big fill here in the 10th. Sunnyside 2 at 6.07 already with two boxes to go. Nice fill for Walsh at 9. 110. Second string. Two spares. 8 fill and a 9 fill. 241 through 2. Final two boxes. Anchors coming up. Both open. Ryan Fuller. One mark in the string. Just 80 through 8. The Terminator, Charlie Collins, left. Oh, a nice ball. That's the five to the right, the eight to the left. Wood to help. Collins, head pin hit, has a pack of five. Minus one, now it's a check mark. Fuller. Let go! Weevils wobble, but they don't fall down. Heck of a try. Collins won't go. Fuller and nine. 89 through nine. Brian at 108 in the first string. Charlie Collins, 121 the first. He gets a 10. 119 through 9. Go up and touch it. Follow with a 3 1 split. He's a mark for 100. 
Collins in the pocket. 2-1 split. That's the 5 in the middle, 9 to the right, 7 to the left. Trying to kick it over. Looks good, almost. What a try. <laughs> I, I didn't put the last two, last box. Collins open with the five and seven. One more string to go after this. The opening round, Friday Night Pro League playoffs. The, winner, the winning team goes to the semifinals. Brian Floor and nine, disappointing 98 string. Two oh six for two. Not happy. Determining that Charlie Collins a nine, one twenty eight second string. 249 through two. The number six seed, Sunnyside two, leads the number three seed, Riverwalk Lanes, from Amesbury, Mass. Unofficially 626 to 570. They went by 56 oh. in the string. They're up 49 in the match. We're going to check the official scores, though. Brian Fournier checking the scores. We'll put the box by box scores. One string to go. From Union Street Lanes, Holbrook, Mass. Four broadcasters today covering four matches. Semifinals next, finals after that. All in Spread Eagle Productions. This is the first string recap. We're still waiting for the official scores for the second string. Riverwalk came back to win that first string by seven. Sunnyside controlled most of the second string. Third string underway. Should there be a time to be a full one string roll off? To look ahead, Penn has a triangle. Frank 117, 129, 246 through 2. Mark Ritchie. Two wobbling pins. One go for the strike. Has the 5 to the right, 8 to the left. Mark 131, a 131, 246 through 2. Matching Frank to Lucas total. To Luca, off to the right is open with a 2 and the 4. Put, put the subtitle below too. I'll read, Rocky. Yeah. You are the biggest. And Mark Ritchie gets a spare to start the third. Let's try and get the official score here. Blue for an eight to start his third. The River at 569. Come on, Frank. And Sunnyside 2, 631. Put the running total down below. Don't have the point. Come on. 1233. Sunnyside 2. And Brian Fornia says 48 pin lead. Luca 2 1 split. Mark Ritchie on the left working a spare for Riverwalk Lanes. Missed the head pin, gets five. Good wood to help. 15 after one. Was exceptional at second string. Put together four marks in a row. Two waters. Putting right two here. strikes. All with good fills. To look, a good bid. It's open. Oh, what a shot! Almost a spare Richie. Good try. Thought he had that one. That looked good. Luca for 10 in the gutter for 9, 17 through 2. Richie, 10, 25 through 2 in the final string of the match. Quarterfinals, opening round playoffs, Friday Night Poli. Winner goes to the semifinals. Should there be a tie and one string roll off? Can we get the official scores, Frank? Second string. Frank Lucas checking the official. We're still waiting for the official score for the second string. Second bowl is a five. Aaron St. C on the right. 111 and 124. Had 35 in the last two in the second string. Spear nine, spear six. Josh Rio on the left for Riverwalk. Had spear strike, spear five. In the middle of the second string, 118, 114, 232 through two. Aaron gets three. Nice ball for a strike, almost. 
Six pin left up for Rio. So it's officially a 55 pin lead for Sunnyside 2. St. Cyr falls short. Was that a strike for Rio? Okay, I was looking at the score. Rio got a strike. It, that was a seven second delay, wasn't it, Ryan? 10 plus 2 for Rio. Aaron St. Cyr in 8. Riverwalk on the move here on the third down 55 in the match. 2 2. One by seven, lost by 62. Anything is possible in the Friday night pro league. No lead is safe. St. Cyr, triangle. Rio. After the delayed strike, that's the 5 7 10. Two great pieces of wood to help. Thrilling match here in Holbrook, Mass. Union Street Lanes. St. Cyr is open. Mark Richie giving advice. Mark's a great mentor for bowlers. Rio for spare. Ooh, just missed it. Ooh, that looked so good, didn't it? Just tailed away last second. 17 after one. St. Cyr, a nine. 17 through two. For both bowls for Sunnyside, too. Rio, it's Nate. 25 for both bowls through two. Riverwalk on the move to start the third. They're up 16 the string. The lead is down to 39. Nick, Nick Noah crossing the right for Sunnyside 2. 144 and 138. Leading the pack for Sunnyside 2. Mike McGinty Magic on lane 11. Had a 141 and a 113. His first two. Noah cross 9. Kingpin left up. That's the five pin. McKinty, only three. Nick from Arlington, Mass. Richard from Woburn, Mass. Pulls out a Woburn ball draw, Woburn, Mass. Central Park Lanes, East Boston, Mass. And extra Lanes, Ex New Hampshire. Pulled for 28 years. He's only 30 years old. Gave him a bowling moment, which won the world tournament. For a spare, no. Tough piece of wood. Wouldn't go. McKinty got one, leads up six. Nick is a 120 league bowler, gets a 10. Start his third. McKinty a seven. To start his third string. We have 13 in the string, down 42 in the match. Riverwalk trying to get back into it. Never count them out. Low across has the post. McGinty just missed that pin. He's up the one, three, and the eight in the back. No across, good effort. Six on the right, seven on the left. He's open. No marks, six foot boxes so far for Sunnyside here in the third. McGinty left missed that pin. Wide right for an eight, 18 through two. McGinty, nice 10. They're chipping away at it, 17 through two. Riverwalk up 15 in the string, down 40 in the match. No marks on the board for either side. Josh Daly trying to get on track here in the third. Scores of 109 and 107 his first two. Jeff Walsh for Riverwalk, 131 and 110. Daly in the pocket, nine. Five pin, that's the king pin left up. Josh, 122 league bowler. Wood coming out of play for Walsh. 
daily for the spare. No. Josh's home lane, Central Park Lane, Spence lost to Mass. High single of 185, high triple 478. Did last year's US Invitational in the semifinals against Royal Subs. Including a 183 and a 184. The high five of 732, high 10 of 1274, high 20, 2447. Goes in Danvers, Mass. He's 22 years old. Both the Atlantic Hamilton Singles Tour, number two seed in the Northern Conference Pro Division. Paul Matt Susi for the next week. Paul should I kick it over. Oh, what a shot! Wow, a spare! Ten the ball to start. Daily at ten. A nice shot up there, Carrot. We have worked on. 40 in the match, but not a spare to cut in the 30s. Sunny side two, no mark, seven boxes here in the third. Daly gets a break. Back to a strike! The Julian! 20 plus two through two, anyway they fall. Walsh on the bonus. Six. 16 after one. Anchors to follow. Jeff Bowling since 2001. He's won the Riverwalk New Year's Day 5 out of 7 tournament two years in a row. He might have Mark Ritchie, Craig Holbrook, Ryan Fuller Sr., and Tom Ulster. So he's not bowling. He likes video games and doing a wrestling podcast. He played baseball growing up. And likes to watch baseball, basketball, hockey, football, soccer, golf, tennis, and wrestling. In Rutland, Mass. Originally from Somerville, Mass. 38 years old. Good effort. Five pin left up. Nine. 25 through two in the final string of the match. Here comes the Terminator, Charlie Collins, 121 and 128. Brian Fuller Jr., 108 and 98. His first two. So, unofficially, Riverwalk up by 20 in the string, down 35 in the match. Sonny side is a strike though on the board. No marks for Riverwalk so far. Their Terminator. It's eight. That's the eight and the ten. Three pieces of wood to help. Fuller. Look for a big string. It's nine. The king pin, the five pin left up. He used to go right at it. Nick Norcross giving Charlie Collins advice how to play the wood. We've walked down 35 of the match. Collins trying to sweep it over. Good try. Right over the 10. One could, wouldn't come down for landing. Fuller, right out for a spare. There you go. 10 of the ball to start his third. Four marks in the string. For Riverwalk. Chipping away. Collins a nine. One more pin up the total. Drop 21 in the string. They're down to 34 in the match. And Brian Fuller, Jr., working a strike. Cut to the 20s. On a spare, actually. I love a strike on the spare. 10 plus a ball. Lead 11. The Terminator. Only four. Brian. Nice ball. Eight, nine. Gets a break. The nine pin left up. 19 after one. Here comes Riverwalk. The lead is down to 25. Sunny side two. Trying to hang on. Go to the semifinals. Collins. Nice try. Spare. Stuffs the bleeding. 19 of the ball through two. Spare. Four. 29 plus two. That's more like Brian. 
Back on his game. What a match. Brian Fournier keeping score. Ball switch side. Back to the top of the order. Frank DeLuca. 17 through 2. Mark Ritchie, 25 through 2. It's 30 pin lead for Riverwalk in the string down 25 in the match. And they have a two mark to one advantage. Cut it into the teens. Incredible match here in Holbrook, Mass. Friday Night Pro League, opening round playoffs, quarterfinals. Richie has the one, three, and the ten. Two pieces of wood. To Luca in the pocket, triangle. Tons of triangles today, lots of four horsemen. For a second mark of the string, missed it in the middle. I'll give you something to watch here, Paul. See if I can wake up. <laughs> Luca for spare, right in the middle. Six pins to the right, five to the left. Richie a nine, 34 through three. Luca a nine, 26 through three. Sunny side two is up by 25 in the match. They live by 55 after two. Two marks to one advantage still. This time it's the sunny side's two's favor. Richie, seven, eight. That's the one. Oh, it's going in. Just a head pin now. Got a break. Needs to cash in. And a spare five in the first. To Luca, fourth box, third string. Look at this. Got three. Triangle plus the four horsemen. Right. Richie for spare. Got it. 44 to ball through four. Clutch spare for the captain. Luca. Oh, what a try. He's up the eight and the ten. Try to get at least one. We're walk out pinning him here in the third. Howling on the marks. Six marks to two so far. Luca nine, 35 through four. See if we have time, we'll talk to the winning team before we go on to our next match. Josh Rio, spare, strike seven and eight, 25 through two. Aaron Saint says 17 through two. Look for his first mark here in the third. Josh 114 and 118 his first two. Aaron St. Cyr 111 and 124 his first two. Brian Forney helping out for the totals. Three off for strike, yes! Second strike and three boxes here in the third. 35 plus two. Caleri for Aaron St. Cyr. They were down 55. Ripwalk coming to the third string. They can cut it into the teens. Aaron's open. There's two marks to the string. Sunny side two. Nine to Aaron St. Cyr. 26 through 3. Seven marks to two in the string. Riverwalk over Sunnyside too. Come on, Eric. Again, if there's a tie after three, a one string roll off for all the bowlers. Rio on a strike. It's seven. It's a triangle. The four, seven, and the eight. Three pieces of wood. St. Cyr. Then Hick, it's three. <laughs> Momentum is shifting to Riverwalk. Number three seed. <laughs> Trailing to number six seed, Sunnyside two. Rio won't go. Good try. 
Tough piece of wood. Eight on the strike. 43 through three in string number three. Aaron trying to bounce back. Good effort. Five to the left, six to the right is open. Rio at nine. 52 through four. We got a ball game here, folks. Eight for Aaron, 34 through four. It's into the teens now, the deficit. Riverwalk is up 41 on the string. They're down 14 in the match. Two marks apiece, both sides. Mike Paganti on the right, 17 through two for Riverwalk. Nick Moore across the left, the sunny side two, 18 through two. McGinty, nine. Four pin left up. No cross. Head pin. It's the triangle. For a spare. Oh, yes, he went. Buried it. What a gentleman. 27 the ball through three. Daly. No cross, rather. No cross with a spare. Daly on a strike with him up next. Nick Norcross, 28 plus the ball through three here in the third. Tight battle here in Holbrook. Friday night Pro League playoffs opening round. The winning team goes to the semis next. McGinty, only three. 30 through three in the third. Norcross for a strike, nine. That's the kingpin left up the five pin. On the spare, 37 through three. McGinty leads up the four to the left, the eight to the right. No cross, another mark. Right on it. Two spares in a row, 47 the ball through four. Final string of the match. McGinty, ice 10, 40 through four. The match is 20 for sunny side two. Riverwalk cutting 35 off the lead. Outstanding battle here. <laughs> Jeff Walsh and Spare in lane 12. Josh Daly on a strike on lane 11. Thrilling match here. Paul Graham with you with Brian Fournier. Jeff Walsh is actually open here. Brian Full is on the Spare next. Jeff had a Spare 6 and 9. It's three and one split. Daly is on a strike. Half west to right, the three nine, the five to the left. Jeff, a terrific first string, 131, 110 in the second. Oh, what a shot for a spare! Wow! 35 and a ball through three. Daly, good try. Nine the strike, 29 through two. Riverwalk making a furious comeback here in the third. Daly a nine. 38 through three. 27 pin lead for Riverwalk on the string. They're down 28 in the match. They have a three to two mark advantage though. One right here from Jeff Walsh on the right. 35 and a ball through three in lane 12. Head pin hit. Diamond, 41 through three. Jeff's going to win. It's Paul Rama, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Daily spread eagle plus the eight pin. Walsh. Just missed the object pin. It's up a three and the six. Mike McKinty was a bowler arm in Ports, New Hampshire. Jeff Walsh was a Riverwalk Lanes, Kingsbury Mass, Canopy Lanes, Haverhill Mass. He gets an eight. 49 through four. Daly yeah, looking for a big out here. Eight. 46 through 4. Anchor bowlers, 
The Terminator, Charlie Collins, working a spare, 19 of the ball through two in the final string of the match. Brian Fuller Jr., two spares, 29 of the ball through two. <laughs> Brian Fuller, thank you for helping out with the uh, calculator and do the manual scoring back here. Semifinals to follow. Fuller on the bonus, looks good, but a split, 3-1. 35 through 2 here in the third. Charlie Collins on a spare on lane 11. 19 of the ball. Hooks it left. It's 4. 23 through 2. Just a second year. Pulling the pros. Full is too full. Sunny side 2 trying to hang on for the semis. Rip Walker has other ideas. Charlie almost pulled it off. He's in the six. From Fuller at nine. 44 through three. Ryan's high single is 224. High triple of 474. 124 league bowler on a new report mass. New report mass. Collins a nine. 32 three. 20 pin lead in the match for Sunnyside 2. Brian won the 2017 Easter Classic title, part of the 2018 World Championship team. Hit been hit. 7 10 split. Wood to help. Brian in 2015 and 2017 was the World Tournament singles runner up. Terrific bowler, hard worker. Collins gets a break with a 1 3 and the 10. Looking for a second mark of the string. Take it over to try. Charlie Collins has thrown a triple strike with a nine fill twice in his career. His first spare won't go. Appeared on Kendall Canoe Generation. Won three out of five times as Brian Fuller Jr. gets a 10. 54 through 4. By far his best string of the match. Collins, 9. 41 through 4. Unofficially 239 to 203. 36 pin lead for, for River Walk in the string. They're down 19 in the match. Mark Rich in the right working on his second spare. 44 in a ball here in the third. Frank Lucas open, 35 through 4. A thrilling match here in Holbrook. Union Street Lanes, find that Pro League playoffs, opening round for the final match. Who will go to the semifinals? Toluca, who has been left for 1, 2, 4, and 7. Richie on the bonus, hit pin, 9! That looked great for a strike. Four pin left up. 53 through four. And for 131 second string at a 115 in the first. Toluca, 21. Parker cut into single digits with a big fill. Another spare. 63 out plus the ball. Here comes Riverwalk. Toluca in eight. 43 half. Frank 117 and 129 at first two. Outstanding competition for both teams. Too bad someone has to go home. Toluca off to the left. Gets four. Richie on a bonus. Looks good. Seven. Five, eight, and the ten. Seventy half for Mark Ritchie, the captain. Delivering here in the third. I'll use that wood. They survey it. Luke needs some work here. Nice ball, almost. Seven pin remains. Ripcock is down one match all of a sudden. 
A 55 pin lead after two is down to one for Sunnyside two. The Lucre nine, 52 through six, open third string. Richie and eight, 78 through six. What a start here in the third. Two pin lead in the match for Sunnyside two. Riverwalk has shaved out 53 pins here in the third. The Riverwalk is open. Sunnyside has one spare in the board. Two pins lead the match plus a bonus ball. All the balls open. Aaron St. Cyr, 34 through 4. Josh Rio, strike 7, spare 8. Open 52 through 4 on the left for Riverwalk. Come on, I've been blessed to cover a lot of good matches this year in the Friday Night Pro League. Some great battles. St. Cyr, triangle. So, Barn burner right now. We'll tie match the rest of the way. No lead is safe in the Friday Night Pro League. Rio, head pin. Gets the right side to go. That's the two and the four. St. Sarah for spare. No. Wide right. Josh High single 179. High triple 435. High five 697. Currently 164. Gets a spare. His third mark. Every other box, 62 half plus one. They can take the lead. St. Cyr and eight. We're tied in the match. 42 half for Aaron St. Cyr. The marks are even, one apiece. We have a dead heat tie in the match. Nothing like the great game of Caliph and Bowling. St. <laughs> Sarah, only three. Struggling here in the third. He's putting up some great strings this year. Rio on a bonus. Four. They lead by four in the match. 66 half. Riverwalk was down 55 coming to the third. They lead the match by four pins. But Nick Newell cross up next for Sunnyside 2 on a spare. Check mark plus the 10 for St. Cyr. Rio, good ball, but two full. Four to the left, 6 10 to the right. Trying to get at least two here. Tight battle here in Holbrook. St. Cyr, 7, 49 through 6. Rio, 7 also. Matching 7s. 73 through 6. Four pin lead for Riverwalk in the match. Nick Norcross can get the lead back to Sunnyside too. On the bonus for lead. Nine. They take a five pin lead in the match. 56 through four. Two spare nines. You can't need two full, three two split. Back and forth we go. What a turnaround by Riverwalk in the third. Norcross, middle one. Got it. He's got three spares in a row. 66 half plus one. McKinty, what a try. He's at the two pin. McGinty for a 10. No, 9. 49 half. Five pin lead right now, right? Oh, six right now, isn't it? You got a 9. Okay. No cross, still rolling, gets 8 on the spare, 74 half. McKinty has the 9 10 split. I'll double check it. No cross for another one. Oh, what a try! Come on, that one. That was not easy. McKinty, Captain, good try. 
Only a spare three in the string. No across nine. 83 through six. He's been great all day. 144 and 138. 83 through six in the third. McGinty and eight. 57 through six. Brian Fournier adding up the totals. What a match. Here's Riverwalk scores here in the third so far. No marks on the board for them. No marks for Sunnyside 2 either. Josh Daly, 46 to 4 to strike 9 in the second. Jeff Walsh, a spare 6 and a spare 6 again. 49 through 4, both open. All balls open. Daly, right down the middle, 3 2 split. Jeff Walsh in the pocket for a strike. 9. The kingpin remains the five pin. Wood coming out of play. Let's go right at it. Ripping match here in Holbrook. Brian, what's the official lead now? For 15 for uh, Sunnyside's up 15. Sunnyside back up to 15 in the match. They trailed for a while. Good try by Daly. He's open with the two and the four. Walsh missed it. It hurts. They took the lead by four pins. Have to be down 55 to start the third. Sunnyside, Sunnyside two up by 15. 10 for Daly. 56 half. Pins are at a premium here in the third. Walsh a nine. 58 half. Lead is 16. 16, right? 16 pin lead for Sunnyside two. This is why you want to subscribe to Spread Eagle Productions. Great matches like these. All kinds of matches on Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button. It's free. Tell your friends and family about the great game of Caliph and Bowling. Daily, just three. Walsh in the pocket. 2 1 split. 3 6 right side. 7 left. 131 and 110 is first two. Daly, good comeback. Leads up to 6 and 10. 109 and 107 is first two. Walsh is open. Three to the right, seven to the left. Daly, big 10. 66 through 6, a pair of 10s. Walsh and 8. 66 through 6 also. 18 pin lead in the match with Sunnyside 2. No marks on the board for either side. Pass the halfway point in the third. Paul Grant with Brian Fournier. At Union Street Lanes, Holbrook Mass, the opening round, the quarterfinals of the Friday Night Pro League. The winning team goes to the semifinals. Charlie Collins, 41 through 4, at a spare 4 in the second. Brian Fuller at a spare 9, spare 6. Now at 54 through 4, also open. Collins, for a strike, it's 9. Looking left up, Wood to help. Full, that looks good for a strike, he got it! 64 plus 2, what a shot by Fuller! The Terminator, spare! 51 half plus 1 for Charlie Collins. What a battle! 18 pin lead, sunny side 2. Charlie on a spare, Ryan Ford on the left on a strike. 6 half is the average for pro bowlers for spares, about 8.3 for strike throws. Collins, right down the middle, is spread eagle. Warfield, 55 half. Fuller, off to the left. It's a break as the 1, 3, 6, and the 9 behind the 3 pin, working on a strike. 
1% success rate for Pro Bowl. It's not wood for Spread Eagles. Oh, let's give it a ride. He's at the 3 and the 10. Fuller missed it. 6 and a strike. 70 half. Sixteen. Sixteen pin lead now. Sunnyside two. Sixteen. Ten for Charlie Collins. Sixty-five through six. Eight for Fuller. Seventy-eight through six. Eighteen. Eighteen pin lead for Sunnyside two unofficially. Eighteen pin lead. What a match. Four boxes to go. All ball is open. The Friday Night Pro League opening round playoffs. Of course, we give you our official. Brian, can you check the official scoring down there, please? Brian's going to check the official scores table. That's 18. It is 18 official. Okay, Mark Ritchie in the right having a great day. 115 and 131. 78 through 6. Open here. All balls open. Frank DeLuca looking for his first mark. 52 through 6 on the left. The sunny side, too. Mark off to the left. It's a break. Has the one seven eight. Not easy, but makeable. To Luca. Only four. One seventeen and one twenty nine is first two. The captain for a spare is the head pin. He's at the one of the seven. Not an easy shot. Looking for his first mark. Wide right. He's a five. Richie for ten. It's nine. Eighty seven through seven. Luca, big out for 10. 62 oh, through 7. 19 pin lead now for Sunnyside 2 in the match. Mark Ritchie's high 5, 765. High single 207. Also has a 202 and a 200. High triple 519, 510, and 501. Home lanes River Rock Lanes where he owns it. Runs a great business. Uh, Interbury Mass. World Singles Champ in 2013, four time Pro Series Champ. In teams, two double titles and one skin, skin game single title. Four or five out of my box. Has the Caleri. Mark Ritchie won the Friday Night Pro League title in 2012. It's a couple fall down. He has the 1, 8, and 10. WCBC Rookie of the Year in 2007. WCBC Big 20 Champion in 2007. Luca off to the right and gets three. Struggling here in the third. Mark has various house tournament wins. One. Nice turn! Get it! It's fair! Clutch spare in the eighth. 97 to the ball for the captain, Mark Ritchie, for Riverwalk. To Luca, two full. Two pins to the left, six ten to the right. Mark Ritchie's favorite bowling winner, watching his son Dominic make his candle pins for the kid's debut at four years old in 2013. Luca, nice out for nine. 71 to eight. A thrilling match here in the Friday Night Pro League opening round, quarterfinals. The winning team goes to the semifinals. If there's a tie, it'll be a one string roll off. Come on, Eric. Come on, Rio. Eighteen pin lead in the match for Sunny Side two. With one mark to none advantage for Riverwalk. When Mark Ritchie comes up. Eighteen, right? Eighteen. Yep. Eighteen's confirmed. Josh Rio. They were 55 after three after two, they're 55. Riverwalk took the lead by four. Sunny side has the lead right now. Rio gets four. St. Cyr. Triangle, left corner. Four, seven, and eight. Looking for his first mark, just 49 through six. Rio, 73 through six. Has two strikes in the string. Spare four. Oh, good try. All but the 10 pin. 
Heck of a bid by Rio. Saint Seiya for spare. No. That looked good, didn't it? Eight pin left up. <laughs> Just six marks in the strength for Sunny Side Two. Rio at ten. Eighty three through seven. Saint Seiya nine. Fifty eight through seven. Seventeen pin lead in the match. Sunny Side Two hanging on by a thread. One mark to none advantage for Riverwalk. Marion Roy this year won a Pro Series double tournament with Evan Riva at Lee Lane's National Hampshire. As a junior, he won an 85 patch. Eight pin drop as the two and the seven. All the balls on their feet, except the scorekeepers. Rio with the two and the five. Gets it! Spare in the eighth, 93 and a ball through eight. St. Cyr, despair! Off the wall, won't go! We have a virtual tie in the match. Gutsy performance by both teams. 10 to St. Cyr, 68 through 8. 17, 17 pin lead for Sunnyside 2 with two marks to none. Advantage Riverwalk. Brian, I thought this match would be really close. It has been, hasn't it? 55 pin lead is, is nothing in this game. Huge. And I need to pin out like crazy if you want to win this one. Well, you never give one a shot, never throw a ball away. The eight. That's the five and the nine. Two pieces of wood. No across. Only three to the left. McGinty won the 2019 Pro Series doubles title with Josh Daly. Won seven for seven in the knockout. For a spare. Yes! They got three spares in the board. 67 the ball through seven. No across open with a one, two, and the nine. No across at eight. I had, I had money. 91 through seven. 15. 15 pin lead for Sunnyside two. But Mike McGinty's Riverwalk lanes are on three marks to none. The Sunnyside two. McGinty on one here on lane 12. <laughs> on the bonus. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten pin left up. Leads down to six. And they got two bonus balls. 76 through seven. Mike McGinty. Four drop and no cross. McGinty for another one. Oh, won't we'll go. We'll try. Big stick up there. No cross. Got it. They needed that one. One on one of the ball through eight. What a shot that was. Clutch for Norcross. McGinty at 10. 86 through eight. What a match. The lead is six for Sunnyside, two in the match. But two marks to one. We have a virtual tie. Riverwalk, two marks to one. All spares. Both bowls open now. Jeff Walsh in the right for Riverwalk, 66 through 6. Josh Daly also 66 through 6 for Sunnyside 2 on the left. It's a broadcaster's dream not calling a match like this, Brian. Thanks for uh, helping the scoring. That's freaking crazy right now. Incredible match. Riverwalk down 55 after 2. Took the temporary lead and now counts six. Horseman, Jeff Walsh. Josh Daly, one and the three now at the break. One, two, four, and seven for spare. And look, oh no, good try. Daly missed the opportunity. Hold up, hold up. 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 Hold up.
Nine for Jeff. Ne they called a nine. That doesn't count. Nine. 75 through seven. Bailey a 10. 76 through seven. Seven pin lead. The sunny side two. Two marks to one advantage for everyone. It's a dead heat virtually. Who wants it more? Down the stretch. <laughs> Oh, what a try. Walsh for a strike. He got it. Yeah. Strike in the 85 plus two. Huge shot for Walsh. Third mark of the string. We have the virtual lead now. Had to be down 55 at the two. Daly open with the head pin. It's a nine. 85 through eight. I'm going to double check right after. Let me double check the math here. Now officially nine for Josh Daly. 85 through eight. Brian double checking the math here. Anchor Bowl is coming up. Both open. Brian Fuller Jr. Three marks. 78 through 6 open. Charlie Collins terminated. Terminated 65 through 6 open. He has two spare fours in a string. Brian Fuller Jr. Spare nine, spare six, strike six. Nail biting finish here in Holbrook. Friday night pro league opening round. The winner advanced to the semifinals. Next. Brian, the one five in the middle, eight to the left, nine to the right. Two pieces of wood. Six, have two extra. Six bits. Sunny side up by two. Sunny up by six. Sunny side by six, but three marks to one advantage for Riverwalk. Collins, two ball, but breaks to the right side. Two, four, seven. Got a chance. Pull up for a spare. No. There's a triangle up. Collins could use this mark. The Lord, he got it. Huge spare in the seven, 75 and a ball for the Terminator. Third mark of the string. Our virtual tie in the match again. Fuller, nine, 87 through seven. Seven pins. Seven pins. Seven pin lead for Sunnyside, two in the match. Three marks to two advantage for Ripwalk. It's a dead heat virtually. Incredible battle here in the first round. Fuller off to right gets five. Got great wood to help. Right from Newbury Port, Mass. One twenty-four league bowler. High single two twenty-four. High triple four seventy-four. The Terminator on the spare seven has a triangle. Eighty-two through seven. Oh, I got it! Clutch shot in the eighth. Ninety-seven of the ball. Four marks for Sun for Riverwalk. Just one for Sunnyside two. Collins oh, picks it up. Huge spare for him. Ninety-two in a ball through eight. Three marks in four boxes. Fourth in the string. Ninety-two in a ball. Fourteen pin lead for Sunnyside two. But it's four marks to two for Riverwalk. We got a dead heat virtually. Final two boxes of the match. Could have not asked for a better match, folks. <laughs> You've got to get Spread Eagle Productions if you haven't got it. Subscribe free on YouTube, Spread Eagle Productions, for great bowling matches like this. Brian's checking the official scores. Lucas open 71 through 8. 2 2 split. Mark Rich in the left on a spare. 97 the ball through 8. 14 right. Half was to right out to two fill. 90, 99 through 8. 12 pin lead for Sunnyside 2. Yeah, it's 12 pins. Yep. 3 to 2 mark though for Riverwalk. It's our break for Mark Ritchie. Four marks in the string. The Luca in the hole. Needs at least two here. Ritchie, good try. 4, 8 to 10. Look at nice out. Nine. Eighty through nine. Looking for his first mark still here in the third. Richie is seven. One oh six through nine. 
All right, Brian, what do you have for a score? What's your, what's your lead down to? 14. 14 the point lead for Sunnyside 2. They trailed the marks, so 3 to 2. Riverwalk has the advantage in the marks. Frank from Stone and Mass. High single 197. High triple 422. High five 681. That's the 1, 2, 9, and 10. His high single and high triple with throwing the Friday Night Pro League. Richie, nice ball! 7, that looked good. That's the 5, 9, and 10. You like text me up? Yeah. <laughs> Luca, the try, he gets a go! Oh, almost, what a try! An open third string for DeLuca. That looked great. Richie, good try, almost pulled it off, what a bid. <laughs> you might come down to the last ball the way it's going. Toluca gets a 10. Disappointing 90 strength, but good pinning. 93rd string. Second, that count from Richie. That count. 10, 116 for Mark Richie. 115, 131, 116 for the captain. Oh, it was a nine. Okay, it was a nine. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. We can't see back here sometimes. So, 115 for Mark Richie. 115 twice in the middle of 131. Leaves 15 for sunny side two. Three marks to two advantage for Riverwalk. Aaron St. Cyr opens 68 through 8. Only nine marks for sunny side two in the string. That's helped get Riverwalk back in the match. Go down 55 coming in. They led by four for a while. St. Sarah's 2 2 split. Josh Rio on a spare on lane 11. 93 to ball. Two strikes and two spares in the strike. On the bonus, only four. Lead us down to 10. 97 through 8. Marks even two marks apiece. The match it is 10 for Sunny Side 2. Hanging on to their lives. Yeah, trying to get to the semifinals as they clear the wood. Frank Luger getting that dead wood out of the way. 11, sorry. 11 pin lead? I'm sorry, it's 11 pin lead for Sunnyside 2. They were up 15 4, Phil. Yeah, that's right. A thrilling match here in Holbrook. Friday Night Pro League opening round playoffs for the finals. St. Cyr. Oh, what a try! Almost pulled it off. We took the 6 pin. Open strength pin also. Rio. He's at the 1, the 7, and the 8. Nine for St. Cyr. 77 through 9. Try to grab a couple. Gets one for an 8. 105 through 9. 12. 12 pin lead for Sunnyside 2. Seven boxes to go in the match. If there's a tie, a full one string roll off. Two marks a piece for both sides. St. Cyr breaks up the eagle. 3 2 split. Josh Rio, head pin, eight. That's the five to the left, the nine to the right. Aaron trying to bounce back to get over the death of the wall. He's up three, the two four to the left, the ten to the right. Subpar strength for him. Rio, oh, two pull, good try. Anyone's game here in the third. St. Cyr is seven, just an 84 string. First two bowl is open. Sunny side two. Rio, nine. One fourteen third string. Ten pin lead the match for Sunny Side Two. Six boxes to go. Two marks apiece. Nick Norcross on a spare. 
One. One on one the ball on the right. Eighty six to eight. Mike McGinty. On the bonus, Nick Norcross gets five. One oh six to eight. Fifteen pin lead. Fifteen pin lead. Two marks to one advantage for Riverwalk. Still have plenty of time. Nick is open. McGinty with the one, three, and the ten. Looking for his third mark of the string. Could really use it. Just that pin. No across. Punch the head pin. That's the seven, eight, ten for, for a seven box. One thirteen through nine. Kenty gains a couple with a nine. 95 through nine. 13 pin lead for Sunnyside two. Riverwalk up two to one of the marks. Incredible match here at Union Street Lanes in Holbrook, Mass. The winning team goes to the semis. No across. Head pin hit. Two one split. Mini split. Five, eight, and seven to left. One piece of wood. McKinty, half west to right. No cross. Oh, what a shot! Wow, it's four! Let's turn the 10th. 123 in the ball. McKinty, good try. One, eight, six, and ten. Two marks apiece now for both sides. That was huge. For no cross. Been great all day. 144 and 138. 123 and a ball in the ten. McKinty. Nice out. Woods coming back will carry. Not quite a nine. 104. Third string for Mike McGinty. 14 pin lead for Sunnyside 2. The marks are even. Two apiece. Norcross. Only three. Right down the middle. 126. What a performance for Nick Norcross. 6. 408. 408 for Nick Norcross. 17 pin lead for Sunnyside 2. Two marks to one advantage for Riverwalk Lanes. Jeff Walsh on the left for Riverwalk, Riverwalk working a strike. Josh Daly is open on the right, 85 through 8. Incredible finish here. The Friday Night Pro League opening round playoffs, quarterfinals. 17. But he's on. Frank. Daly. Nice ball! Nine! Oh. Wobbling six pin won't go. Walsh on a strike. Pin hit. It's three. Two pieces of wood that may help. Daly for a spare. He's got it. Spare in the ninth. 95 and a ball through nine. Trying to hang on. After blowing a 55 point lead coming to third. They trail by four. Now they're back up front. Walsh with the one and the three. Eight in the strike. 93 through eight. Awesome match here. Nine for Walsh. 102 through nine. Three blocks to go. Can Riverwalk pull it off? Or can Sunnyside 2 hang on? Riverwalk won the first, 609 to 602. Sunnyside won the second, 631 to 569. Riverwalk came storming out the gates in the third, took the lead. Sunnyside to lead now. Daly with a big eight fill. 11, Josh. 103 through nine. His best string. Walsh needs a mark. Triangle, 6, 9, and 10. A piece of wood. Needs to convert. Both anchors on spares when they come up next. Daly. He's got it. Another one. Good spare. Two in a row in the ninth and tenth. One thirteen of the ball. Walsh, good try. Will it go? No. Tough break. Brian Fulham, I need a double. Come on. 
Tampa Jeff Walsh, 112, third string. 18 pin lead for Sunnyside, two. And they lead the, mar the marks, two to one. Daly on the bonus. Hey, pin, only four. 117, clutch finished. 32 in the last two for Daly. Josh, 117. 109, 107, and 117. So, what's the lead now? 22. 22 pin lead for Sunnyside, two. Both bowlers here. Anchors on spares. Charlie Collins, the Terminator. Two spares in a row. 92 in the ball through eight. Brian Fuller Jr., 97 in the ball through eight. Final two boxes of the match. We'll talk to the winning bowlers before we sign off, if we have time. Collins on the bonus. Steal seven. 99 through eight. Fuller, he's a big one. Has the diamond. He's got about 27% for Pro Bowls, that would. When to spread eagle production stats. 103 through 8. Collins for another one. No. The door is open still for Riverwalk. Oh, it needs to convert. He's got it. Clutch shot in the ninth. 113 in the ball. He's got two in a row. What's the lead, Ryan? Collins for 10. Yes. 109 through 9. Twenty-three. Twenty-three pin lead. Looking good for Sunny Side too. Yeah. Brian Fulton is feeling. He'll need a double. They need a double. Yeah. He's done it multiple times before. Yeah. Collins trying to close it out. Tough split. Fuller on the bonus. Half was to run. That should do it. The Furious Rally falls short. They took a temporary lead. Sunnyside 2, the number 6 seed, takes out the number 3 seed, Riverwalk Lanes, in a thrilling finish. We'll get the official score up on the screen. Yeah. Talk. Collins, a 9, 118 for the Terminator in the third, 121, 128, and 118. 10 for Brian Fuller Jr., 125. Sunnyside 2 is going to the semifinals with a win over Riverwalk. A thrilling match. Wait for the official scores first. What a match. Wait for the official scores first. We'll put on the screen. <laughs> Semi-finals to follow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta do this. Oh, okay. Well, nice to see you, Ben. Congratulations. Ryan, I'll take that up here. Before we talk to the ball, put the scores on the screen first. Let me put the scores on the screen first, uh, Brian. Then we'll talk to uh, Sunnyside, too, before our... Watch over that wire there. Brian, what a finish, huh? Hell of a finish. I thought, Riverwalk, thought, thought Riverwalk had it there for a while. Hell yeah, of a battle. Hell of a battle. They chill about 55 after two, took the lead by four. <laughs> Sunnyside, too, came up big with the starting up tough in the third. So 20 pins, the official total. Sunnyside, two, takes it. A valiant effort by Riverwalk. Sunnyside 2 goes to semifinals. Wins it by 20 pins. 1768 to 1748. Let's talk to some of the bowlers here before we sign off. Yeah, that's all right. Shut up. Don't yell at me! I don't want to hear it! Hey! Whoa, whoa, hey, hey! Whoa, whoa! Hey, 
Whoa! Whoa. Frank to Luca. Dave, you guys going to be on the run We're still alive? We're still alive? Yeah. Congratulations. Uh, I thought that's, I thought Ripwalk's going to come oh, back to you. You were 55 at the two. They came out of the gate swinging the third. They really actually did. took the lead. And it was back and forth. And you guys hung on. Yeah. Uh, it, seemed like, it seemed like the nerves were starting to kick in there. The nerves were definitely settling in. Even with the 55 pin lead, you never know if these guys have these. Yeah. Um, and, you know, as you saw, my ball just wasn't working. These guys picked me up. And we're under the next round. Congratulations. We're more excited. So, Sunny Side 2, the number 6 seed bowling great of late. Goes to the semifinals. Paul Craig saying so long for now. We'll see you in a few minutes with the semifinals on Bob Lee's Spread Eagle Productions. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.